ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Minutes to Eight, a brand new game that I really don't know a whole lot about, but we're getting a pop-up right out of the break. Developers note, Three Minutes to Eight is a culmination of many strange nights. I created the concept in a semi hypo something or other state right before falling asleep okay this is not off to a good start motherfucker mcgee using big ass words on me this shit got me perplexed forcing myself to stay awake for a long enough to jot down notes on a piece of paper on my phone often falling asleep with the notes in my hand my goal is to create a gaming experience mimicking a borderline state of mind treading the edge of consciousness where everything is possible and yet remains elusive I hope you have fun with this journey into the human brain. And please remember three things. One, robots are not what they seem. Two, time is just a mental construct. Three, the more times you awake, the weirder things get. What? It's 7.33 p.m. on an early December evening in Stop! the year. You awaken from a slumber of indeterminate length. Was it five minutes or 40? Maybe a year. <laughs> Time seems to have slipped away, leaving you dazed and confused. Okay, so these motherfuckers are tracking my IP. <laughs> okay, if at any point, if at any point a map pops up on the screen, I need y'all to close your eyes and not look because it may or may not be my house. <laughs> okay, motherfuckers, I live in Bakersfield. That's why, that's why it's fucking cringe, bro. Okay, so this game tracking my IP, this game knows where I live at. This game knows where I stay at. And good God almighty, I hope this game don't dox my bitch ass. Okay? <laughs> you look around the living room and everything feels off. It's your flat where you've lived for nine years, but it's not quite right. It's okay, hard wait. to describe. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I didn't hear the first the fucking... I didn't, I didn't hear the beginning cutscene, bro. <laughs> Bro, the, sec bro, bro, the second I saw Bakersfield pop up, I was like, oh my god, this bitch about to drop my whole Addy, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna pay attention now, bro. <laughs> okay, gang, let me show you. Bob! Thank you very much. Okay, I need to be I need to be able to pay attention, bro. It's 7.33 p.m. on an early December evening in That's fine, year. bro. You awaken from a slumber of indeterminate length. Was it five minutes or 40? Maybe a year? Time seems to have slipped away, leaving you dazed and confused. Okay, okay, understood. You look around the living room and everything feels off. It's your flat where you've lived for nine years, but it's not quite right. It's hard to describe but it's as if something critical is missing or something uncanny has been added. You stretch and stand up, trying to shake off the strange sensation. Okay. The intercom rings out. Someone's calling from the street entrance. You aren't expecting any visitors, but you should probably see who it is. Okay, well let's, let's go see who's at the shit, bro. Oh wait. Oh, okay. I don't need anything from here. Oh, oh, everything's voice acted. Wait, okay, let's let's come over here and see who's at the door. Am I going the right way? Why does it sound like a phone call? Wait, where is bedroom? Am I going the wrong way? Wait a minute. Okay, wait, I might actually have to plug in my controller for this. Cause the, the controls are a little bit wonky, I'm not gonna lie. It's like it's like you click and hold. I'm I, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time trying to get to the door. Where's Where's my door at? See, I'm, I'm gonna click on these things on accident. I don't want to. This is my balcony. Okay, so I'm definitely going the wrong way. What am I doing? Well, I'm not supposed to be smoking. I'm supposed to answer the door. It has changed over the years, and although you miss its former appearance and the memories that came with it, you've grown to appreciate its current charm. Bro, I should have just left it as Bakersfield. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I put it back to Bakersfield. Let me get my controller, bro. <laughs> Okay, stop typing, goddammit. Yes, we started twice. Now nah, I prefer Bakersfield, bro. I, 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 I didn't know they was gonna have a dumbass city name. Okay, so sorry, it's actually the intercom, motherfuckers, not my front door. That's what, that, that's something that had me bamboozled. Okay, so where's the, where's the, oh, is it this thing? Intercom, here we go. Uh, hello? Hello? The end is upon us. 
Every passing moment brings you closer to your ultimate demise. <laughs> Fuck huh? yourself, what old are you hobo! About? Oh, let me stop. Okay, sorry, they got voice lines on that ass, bro. Hurry before it's too late. Only you can stop it. <laughs> what? What's Hobo McGee? Why he on the intercom talking to me? After you hang up the intercom, you get an unsettling feeling. The voice sounded eerily familiar. You try to push the thought away and tell yourself it was a cruel prank. Also, your stomach aches with hunger. It's almost dinner time, and you'd better look for something to eat. Okay! But that warning. They said the end is near, and only you can stop it. Could this somehow be related to the bizarre feeling you woke up with? For peace of mind, you're motivated to find out more. But where to start? The city streets might hold the answers you seek. Okay, so do, 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 do we only have three minutes to stop catastrophe? Oh, what, what, what? Or no? We got we, we got till 8 p.m. right? We got till 8 p.m. right? Let me. Is there anything hidden under? I this? like it where it is. Oh, <laughs> I tried to touch the plant, but it didn't work. <laughs> hmm. Where did I leave my keys? Okay, so 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 this is like one of them games where like you got. I'm okay with the pair I have on. Where you gotta like look? Nothing interesting in here. Just an ungodly amount of old tote bags. For everything around you to figure out how to avert. Uh, the world's catastrophe, presumably. But right now, we're just we're just doing our initial playthrough. And remember, it said the longer you play, the the more weird things get. Let's go in here and have a smoke real quick. Let's look, let's look at the neon city. It has changed over the years. Show no. Although you miss its former appearance and the memories that came with it, you've grown to appreciate its current charm. Okay, let me tell you, motherfucker, something. There's no way in hell, any time on this planet's life cycle, that Bakersfield looks like that. Okay, this city will be obliterated by a nuclear bomb, swallowed up by the desert, or eaten by the goddamn waves of the Pacific before it looks like that, goddammit. That's a fucking lie, bro. Bakersfield cheats on Houlihan. The neon lights. The rain-soaked streets, the constant buzz of advertising and worrying vehicles, they merge to create a symphony of the city. You often find yourself relaxing on this balcony, taking in the view and letting the atmosphere wash over you. Understood. So they're still smoking in, in, in what is it, 2043? Certainly these motherfuckers should have been permanently banned by now, right? But maybe I'm bugging. Where are my goddamn keys at? Let me see if there's something on the TV. I don't have the focus right now to watch TV. Oh, actually, I'll fuck myself. Okay, I was going to say, maybe if, if the world's going to end, Bo, maybe we should be able to see it on the news a little bit. But I guess not. We need to find these damn keys real quick. Okay, let me bring it over here. Enshrouded in a haze of confusion, you try to grasp how time is currently functioning. It seems, regardless of how long you've spent in an environment, time doesn't progress. Only when you move from place to place will a minute pass. Wait, the what? uncanny feeling with which you woke up persists and your discomfort grows. You wonder if you're still dreaming. Is anything around you even real? Oh, and it's kind of got Stanley Parable vibes, huh? Wait, so every time I walk into a room, it changes a minute? You son of a bitch, it does. Okay, so I need to stop going through fucking doorways. Hi, hey, little girl, what's up with you? Okay, we're opening the closet. My keys are in here. Oh. I'd better take them. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I got my keys. Now let's let's do a It's too cold to open the window. Let's do a full investigation of this room before we leave. It's too cold. That's not what I clicked on. Um no, do I just woke up. I don't need to sleep again. Okay, understood. So I'm liking the voice lines. Okay, this shit's hot. I like this. Okay, so Is that gonna count as a minute? Please don't count that as a minute. You mother! Oh my god, bitch. I'm burning time. Okay, so I mean you cannot swap through shits without without getting cooked, bro. I don't want to wash my hands right now. Okay, well I came in here, so I need to check it. I don't it. need to use it right now. Okay, so my man my man got a mean I don't need to game, huh? Okay. Alright, so this is we're wasting a lot of time, bro. Let's head down. Let's head down. Okay, every time I go into a new area, we lose a minute. Where am I at? Is this a, am I in the street? Oh my god. My apartment It needs to be refilled. That's a vending machine? Oh, hell no! Vending machines of the future are scam city. I don't have anything that I want to throw away. Okay, sorry, y'all. Okay, I'm, I'm really being nitpicky about touching everything right now. <laughs> Bitch, I woke up. It doesn't work. 
I woke up and I, I got a weird feeling, so I'm paying attention to everything. What's it say? I can't do anything with it. It says glowing announcement. What's the announcement say? Better to leave it where it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a sassy cougar coming up, gang. Kitty? Oh, she got some... Were those just bouncing or my bugging? Have you seen my pussy kid? Gang. <laughs> I knew it! Bo, 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 bo! Gang, I could, I, I, I could look at Grandma and tell she was fucking horny, bro. I could tell! I, I could look at Grandma and tell, bro. She got hair like, hey, Arnold. That's how you know Grandma horny. Okay, let's compensate, bro. Here we go. I'll keep an eye open for it. Do you mind chatting while we look? What's on your mind, dear? Why you, why you call it pussycat, bro? That's insane. Oh, I can ask her something. Was someone ringing your buzzer muttering nonsense earlier? Have we been neighbors for a long time? Actually, I think I should go. Let me ask this. Was someone ringing at your buzzer and muttering some nonsense earlier? Do you mean the Jehovah's Witnesses? I haven't heard from them for a while, and they usually don't come at this hour. No, like someone saying that the end is coming, or something like that. Mm, that sounds like Alan, the vagrant who roams the streets. But he hasn't been bothering me this evening. Oh! Ugh, not even the demented want to talk to an old lady like me. I mean... Oh, come on, you're not that old. Yes, she is, don't lie. You look pretty stylish for you. Am I about to get laid, gang? You look pretty stylish for your age. Hold up, I'm about to sauce up grandma real quick. Thanks. It's because I buy my clothes at Piero Bucci, and I wear <laughs> Pluto specs. But what really helps is my silver hair. Mm -hmm. And when I say silver, I don't mean just the color. Each strand was handcrafted by an artisan silversmith. Oh, Grandma Bougie, now hold up! Now, Grandma, you on your deathbed, you put me in your will or not? Real silver? That's incredible. Isn't it? Keep in mind, it wasn't cheap, but having hair so strong and resistant was worth every credit. Grandma, how could that be true? Money well spent. That's the dumbest thing I could have said, but Grandma loves it, Bo. Okay, so Grandma, you trying to get freaky? Have we been neighbors for a long time? <clears throat> oh, don't you remember? I was here already when you moved in several years ago. Oh, damn, Grandma, know my whole story. Sorry, I'm a little out of sorts this evening. What can you tell me about this building? Uh, not too much. I know it was built during the 2020s. Most of the residents are young families. I've seen many folks come and go during my time here. Alan, the receptionist, can tell you more. He's such a lovely bot with endless knowledge of our abode. That's fucking insane. Okay, we've literally only met two people in this game, or rather, we've only heard of two people in this game other than Grandma, and they're both named Alan. Okay, one spelled A-L-A-N, and one spelled A-L-L-E-N. That's fucking insane. You should try talking to him. Okay, thanks. Okay, so Grandma already trying to confuse my bitch ass. That's crazy. Actually, I think I should go. Okay, bye. Let me know if you see my kitty. Oh, Grandma, I'll be taking a look at that pussy cat. Come on now! Okay, let's move it down now. Okay, let's hit the elevator. Why does the elevator not work? There we go. Okay. Let's take it downtown, Bo. Don't tell me they're gonna use up two minutes going down the elevator. Actual some bitch. What's that? Oh my god. You hear a thunderous explosion. It sends a shockwave into your very core. You wonder what happened. It felt close, yet far. We're bodied! Oh my god, I've spent too much time, bro. The end actually is near, bro. Wait a minute, the, uh, the end, okay, so it's 7.45 is when the world starts to get fucking tossed. Who is it? Oh, Alan's a robot, bro. Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? Okay, now remember, we can spend all the time we want in this area because we already lost our minute, bro, coming into the area to begin with. Uh, do you work 24-7 nonstop? Do you work 24-7 nonstop? Precisely. My model is one of the best robot receptionists you can find on the market. All year round, day to night, 
Monday to Sunday, with 28 terabytes of space in the cloud to store all my data. 28 terabytes? What the fuck? What's this guy tracking, bro? Typing information down the sidereal gutter. Looking at humans walking by like dancers in the night. Organizing functional architecture like a formal life. What the hell is this guy talking about? And I only need maintenance twice a year. Don't you ever get tired or bored? I'm a machine. I'm not programmed for tiredness or boredom. I wish I were the same. Do not say that, sir. I saw the best robots of my generation destroyed by bugs, emotionally starving, and hysterical for a slice of human feeling. A fair number of robots crave to be human, while an equal number of your kind yearn for robotic consciousness, advanced programming, and the potential for eternal digital existence. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, bro. If, if, if robots in the future be talking like this guy, I'm gonna have cancer, bro. Get to the point, goddammit! Okay, n oh no, look at these long ass responses, bro. Uh, my man, I don't care. Fair point. Can I ask you about something else? Of course. What would you like to ask? Okay, my, my man got a mean talk about robots game. I gotta keep it moving, bro. Alright, let's see. Uh, can you tell me how long I've lived here? Did you hear that the explosion in the Okay, that. Can you tell me how long I've lived here? Now, this will be good to know. Absolutely. You moved in during my fourth year of service. Nine years, 34 days, and 21 minutes ago. Why oh. do you ask? So we've, been here for well, sir? so we've been here for nine years. This evening I feel rather confused. Everything seems so new to me, yet I have memories related to this place. As I stated, you've lived here for quite some time. Perhaps you're in distress. The causes can be multiple. Too much work, drugs, or head trauma. Sir, did you fall in the shower after work? I don't think so. I mean, my hair isn't wet. Unfortunately, I cannot aid you with this matter. Perhaps seek medical attention if the issue persists. Is there anything else, sir? Yeah, yeah, Did you hear that explosion? Why would he know? But let me ask anyway, whatever. Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? How could I not have heard it? It shook the entire condo. Perhaps it was caused by an explosion from a gas leak a block away. Unfortunately, such mishaps are not rare events these days. However, there is no need to worry, as the maintenance in this building is up to snuff. Oh, uh, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why would there be gasoline explosions on the regular? I mean, we are in Bakersfield, so let's not be bamboozled. No, I have to go. All right, let's hit the streets, gang. Let's hit the streets, gang. Let's see what's going on. Boat fake tree? Nothing to do with that. Okay, here we go. So let's go figure out what that explosion was. Okay, so there's lots of folks out here, so I can't conversate with the random civilians, but you know I can talk to Isaac, bitch ass. Woo! Hey, hi! Evening, good, good, good evening! <laughs> okay, now this little motherfucker, my homie, bro. Um, hi. What do you need from Isaac? Uh, is everything okay with you? Is everything okay with you? No, of course not! Can't you see? I'm bu 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 bugged Nah, I like your ass, bro. Don't trip. Yes, the way you move and talk is not normal. Can I help you? Help me? Why? To fix you. No! Oh, woo! I'm fine this way. I'm fine and dandy. Please do not fix me. Wah! <laughs> okay, this my boy. Oh, God. This, why am I trying to fix him? Bo, he, he living his best life, Bo. All right, all right. Okay, did you hear that explosion, bro? Did you hear that explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Did someone finally blow up that big evil bot PD-99? Uh, uh. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem so. Ah, uh, such a, sh such a, sh such a shame. Sting! Okay, this my man, bro. I think I should go. Bye-bye! That's my man, bro. Okay, so hey, hey, if Isaac need help in the future, I'm gonna help his ass out. I don't out. have my wallet on me. I don't have, okay, so I, okay, gang, member. Next time, let's grab our wall before we leave the house, okay? Because th this is a game where I think you replay it numerous times and you could do different shit. So we gotta know this, okay? Make sure we have our wallet. What's the movie poster for? I don't have time to dance. Dance? Oh, I tried to go in the underground club. I'm trying to see the movie poster. I took it. I stole it. Who's this? Good evening. Good evening to you. Is everything hunky-dory? They still talk like that in the future? That's insane. 
Uh, are you a bouncer? Are you the bouncer? Me? No, I'm much too delicate to be a bouncer. Besides, the club doesn't open for a couple of hours. Oh. I'm just hanging loose, waiting for my friend. Hanging loose, waiting for your friend? We were supposed to meet at 8 p.m., but I arrived a bit early. Time is still an abstract concept to me. Who talks like that? I feel the same way sometimes. Standing here and talking with you, it's clear you're no bouncer. More like a rock star. I'm no rock and roll star, more of a black star, baby. I may even be a star man waiting, but not in the sky tonight. What the hell is this guy talking about? Or this lady talking? I don't know. What, what the hell are they talking about, bro? How well do you know this place? Do you mean this neighborhood? Kind of, yes. Just arrived. I was dragging my heels in Suffragette City, but a friend wanted my honey, so I beamed down. I take it from your inquiry, you're not from around here either. This, this conversation is giving me cancer. No, in fact, I live nearby. But tonight, everything looks new to me. Have you indulged in some funky substances? No. Huh. Well, I, I don't think so. I don't quite remember. Maybe a cocktail of LSD and some last generation neurodrugs. Those will blast you off into outer space, babe. Hmm. That's something I should look into. Uh, did you hear the explosion? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? Oh my gosh, baby, I heard it. It rattled my bones. Its origin and nature elude me, yet it evokes memories of the ultimate demise. Here we go. The great calamity from which I fled. What the hell is she talking? This, 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 this bitch of goddamn, uh, 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 like, planet traveler? Calamity? What are you talking about? It's a distant recollection. Perhaps eroded by the sands of time, or obfuscated by some other force. Yet its presence persists, akin to the scent of charred remnants that linger even after the flames are quenched. Okay, so every, for every claptrap, we gotta talk to at least three cancerous motherfuckers, okay? That's what we need to understand. Okay, so we get a cackle, and then we get cringe. I feel it, too. Who talks like this, bro? Keep asking around. Perhaps we aren't the only ones that remember. Whoa. Claptrap, 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 please. Claptrap, please. Strip club? I can't reach it. I'm trying to go in. Fuck the sign. Street sock. putting my fingers in there. I was gonna put my finger in the socket? That's insane. Okay, so that's a crosswalk. I'm just, I'm opening it's that. It's locked. Oh, no, I'm I not. I think it requires a certain kind of key. Okay, so we need to find a key at some point. There's a clock. Now remember, we only, oh. Okay, this guy looked like he might terminate my bitch ass. Stop, you are not authorized to proceed. What? What about all these other bitches walking by? Oh my God, this is the one Claptrap was talking about. This is PD-99. But I see people walking over there. I don't care. You cannot pass. What? On what basis is this guy stopping me from walking? That's fucking cuckoo insane. So I, I gotta somehow bait that big robot bitch to fuck off. I might have to go back up to my apartment and get my wallet and try to win the lottery, bro, and buy his ass, buy his ass off. Oh, uh-oh. The end is nigh. I can shake it a bit, but it doesn't do anything. The end is nigh. Oh, this is this is bitch, bitch. My man. The end is nigh. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. What are you talking about? No need to yell. I'm standing right here. Can we have less shouting and more of a conversation? What do you want? You're disturbing my calling. I want to know more about your calling. What's the purpose of going around screaming like that? What's the purpose of going around screaming like that? The masses must be awoken to the truth. <laughs> Only my bellows can rouse them from their deep slumber. The wolf is ravenous and fierce and pulsating with writhing tentacles. Now, wait a minute. This guy definitely has voice acted as a dwarf before. Okay, he's got the dwarven voice. Just like Chunky, but if it was the basic character on him, they'd be a dwarf. That ass. Wolf, huh? Has anyone else been listening to your warnings, or am I the only one to stop and chat? Well, you're the first in weeks to stop, but, but I don't care. No, people may hurry past me, but they will heed my voice. You must wake up. It's, it's coming. 
the end of all things. <sighs> okay, so what can you tell me about that? Oh, I guess I don't have to read it because y'all he'll read it too. What can you tell me about the end of the world? I remember what most forgot, and then you can remember too. Yes, there's still time before it comes again. What's coming exactly? The end of all things. Bo a wolf with a thousand mouths and ten thousand flaming tentacles. Enough to engulf us all. Wake up! Remember! It's the only way we escape total annihilation. Was it you ringing my intercom? Me? No way. I don't even know where you live. I've seen your face before, though. Do it in your eyes as you walk past me, but, but that's it. Wait, so this wasn't the guy that was yelling in my, in my intercom? I don't go around ringing strangers' buzzers. Oh, so that, so that was, the, the lady was wrong. It sounded like you, though. At least, the kind of things the voice said was similar to what you're saying. Perhaps another wise herald has awoken. <laughs> the tides are shifting. Yeah, right. So did you hear the explosion? Did you see the explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Ah, uh, that was nothing. A snap of the fingers compared to what's coming. Be aware, the end is nigh. Yes, oh. yes, you said that a few times already. Have I told you it'll be the second rapture? What? Second? You don't remember. Like so many, you act as if your memories have been wiped clean. Some of us, a chosen few, can never forget that we faced the apocalypse already. Not long ago. And now it's coming to claim our lives once more. What the hell was he talking about? You're crazy, old man. Crazy? <laughs> That's what I hear most of the time. That I'm crazy. Woo! Let me tell you one thing, guy. I'm the only sane person around. You know deep down inside that what I say is true. You just need the right trigger. One, two, three, boom. You'll realize we've already been obliterated from this earth before, and it'll happen again. Um, yeah, right. I'm not exactly convinced. I'll keep asking around. Yeah, one, two, three, boom, you'll see. One, two, three, boom. Okay, Granddad really likes that, Bo. Okay, so, right, so we still haven't figured out anything in the trash. I don't want to throw anything out. Okay, wait, what is this? What is this lady doing? Hello, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, what are you selling? What are you selling? Mostly electronic components, meant for DIY projects, home nice. robotics, computers, and small appliances. Oh. Good to know. Do you mind if I ask what happened to your arm? What if I cut my arm off to replace it with a more efficient cybernetic one? That's pretty hardcore, but I've known people who've done that. Some cut off more than just an arm. Oh, like a cock I do! <laughs> Don't give me any ideas. Truthfully, the I lost it in an accident. I was young and reckless and had just gotten my first flight bike. I was bombing down the street and out of nowhere some jerk bolts in front of me. I swerved, narrowly avoiding them, and crashed directly into a giant neon sign. I cannot believe I can still hear Granddad yelling over here. Listen to him. <laughs> the man is dedicated to the cause. Oh. My arm was torn up so badly that it was easier to remove it and implant this one. All things considered, it wasn't a bad trade-off, aside from the fact that I need to tune the screws from time to time. <laughs> Bo, dedicated. Did you hear the explosion? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what happened? You heard it too. Finally, someone else who is willing to talk about them. Often I feel like I'm the only Wait, one that hears the explosions. Is it that everyone else utterly ignores them? Are people that detached? Wait. Each time one comes knocking, I get these ghastly the visions flashing in front of my eyes. Images of death and destruction. They barely last fractions of a moment, but I'm left reeling the each time. My God, I'm sorry. Do you have any idea what they could be? The I think they are ripples from the past leaking into our present. A catastrophe that everyone seemingly has forgotten about or dares to bring up. Wait, wait, wait. So, the, so there actually was an apocalypse. 
You aren't the first person I've spoken to who mentions it. And the more I discuss it, the more I remember it. Yet it's all still so vague. I Part of me is oh. slightly relieved to hear that. It makes nigh. me feel less alone. I'll advise you to watch for minor details in your surroundings. The what people aren't able nigh. to remember, the environment does. Okay, sorry, I accidentally, I accidentally skipped the fucking last part of my shit right there. Oh, somebody's calling, bro. Somebody, somebody's out. There's a probably a op calling me on the phone. Both tell me to stop fucking investigating. Hello. Ignore what you heard. It's all lies. Look, Bo. Who is this? A friend. And they're telling you that there was no great cataclysm. It's just hearsay, an urban legend, fake news. Not fake news, bitch! But I have memories. They might be scattered, but I know something happened. No. Let it go. If it's the truth you seek, go to your bedroom. Is it how you remember? Is something amiss there? My bedroom? Yes. Now go and find the truth. But... Hell no, Robo McGee gonna terminate oh, me! Face. You seem tense. I gotta come clean. I did a little eavesdropping while you were on the phone. Do not believe their lies. The apocalypse is real. I'm not gonna lie, boy. I feel like the hobos might be on to something, bro. Tough pill to swallow, huh? It's easier to choke down with a mouthful of gin. Once you know the truth, it's impossible to ignore. All right, old man. Well, tell me more in that beanie, bro. The feeling will be scratching at the back of your eyelids everywhere you look. You'll see signs of the end times in the ordinary and mundane. Just look around. Everything will be clear. Um, sure. Whatever you say. Can you give me an example, Green Beanie? Okay, y'all know I got a mean... It's too high. Y'all know I got a mean talk to hobos game, bro. I don't need anything from there. Okay, so, 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 Robo McGee on the phone told me to go back to my apartment, but I'm it's not doing locked. that. Uh, because they also told me in the very beginning not to trust... It's locked. What's that? Wait, why the, why the whole world just shake? I was fucking with the door when it happened. The shutters are locked and won't bud. Is that, can I ride this? It's, it, it's highlighting the flight bike. flying this thing without the starter. So I need a flight bike starter. What's going on? Are we about to get terminated, gang? Good evening, what can I get you? Uh, what are you selling? What are you selling here? Am I being followed? Who's this guy behind me? Oh, okay. Best fried chicken in town, man. Deep fried in lava oil, crispy, tasty, crunchy. Just simply delicious. Bro. Bro. Y'all see the problem here, bro? Have we seen a single other black person? Have we? The only black fella we see working at the chicken spot. That's all I'm gonna say, both The fried chicken spot. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> both. the future not playing around, gang. You make it sound awesome. That I do know the chicken's good. Listen, let's not front. I know the chicken's good, Bo. It doesn't just sound awesome. It tastes awesome. Okay, well, you know what? Let's try some. Can I have some fried chicken? Of course. The special menu is $24.99 credits. That sound good? I forgot my wallet at home. I'll be right back. Take your time. My man, spot me, bitch. Can I have a beer? Uh, sure, it's $8.99 credits. I forgot my wallet at home. I'll be right back. Okay. Take your time. Did you hear Did the explosion? You hear that explosion? So, oh, we, Any idea what that was? We gotta figure out who's for real and who's not, Bo, because anybody who says they didn't hear it, they lying. Probably just some kids playing with fireworks. I wouldn't worry. But that sounded way more powerful than just kids' fireworks. Ah, the kids nowadays, they get into some crazy stuff. Okay, so this guy's a ah, Bo. Nothing. This, I should go. This guy, this, good evening. This guy working for the government, Bo. This guy working for the government talking about... I already have a pack or two at home. Plus, I don't exactly have sex on my mind. What? Oh, is, is it like a condom machine or something? No. Okay, so there goes our man. There goes Alan. I think we've talked to basically everybody so far down here on this main section. Um, but I, I can't tell what's making the fucking big robo noise in the sky. I'm, try, I'm trying to walk over here and see. Is this guy still blocking me? I might actually have to go back up to my apartment. Now, looky here. There's a crack in the wall. He's not gonna let me buy. Stop. You are not authorized to. But I see people. Okay. I don't care. You okay, so Big Bitch McGee's still. Ah. 
So I, I think maybe I have to go back up to my apartment. I don't really have any tools or anything else that I can use. Uh, and remember, we get, we get multiple lives. So even if we get body tossed and bamboozled in this life, we'll, we'll still have another life to, 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 to play and fix shit. Let me check out the intercom system, see if I can see who used it. Who am I calling? Hello? The end is upon us. Every passing moment brings you closer to your ultimate demise. <laughs> Wait, I can fucking meme. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Break the loop. Death creeps even closer. You must act with conviction and vigor and do something to stop it. You son of a bitch. I think I can communicate with myself in another life. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I'm pretty sure I can communicate with myself in another cycle. Let me try something. Death creeps even closer. You must act with conviction and vigor and do something to stop it. Let me try this. If we wake up and we hear this, we know. Death creeps ever closer. You must act with conviction and vigor and do something to stop it. Huh? What are you talking about? Hurry before it's too late. Only you can stop it. I think I just talked to myself, gang. I think I just talked to myself. I'm pretty sure I did. So I don't have any mail. I can't do anything with the cabinets. I gotta go back up to my apartment and see if something's missing. What is, am I gonna be able to see whatever is fucking shaking the whole world? We only got 12 minutes left to, to avert catastrophe, excuse me. 11 minutes. Grandma's still looking for a cat. I'm not going to talk to her again, bro. Okay, so let's go into my apartment. This one's me, right? As you step back inside your flat, you hear running water coming from the bathroom. Someone is taking a shower. Yet you are sure you were alone when you left. After a few moments in which you stay puzzled, the sound of the shower stops and the bathroom door opens. What the hell? Who's that? Hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? Monique! I am feeling all out of sorts. Can you help me understand what's going on? Uh, not really. I'm honestly surprised to even see you here. Who are you? My girlfriend or something? Sorry, for a moment I didn't recognize you. I'm feeling disoriented. I must be hungry. Do you have any thoughts about dinner? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? I don't want to weird her out, bro. Let me, let me, let me. Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? Let me, let me, let me, let me play this shit cool. I heard it too. And I've been trying to look online, but have yet to find an answer. What is this world coming to? Do you think this is a setup? Wait a minute. Do you think this might be a setup, bro? Strange things are happening this evening. Oh, don't worry too much, okay? You look so lost. What troubles you? Why she keep pushing that? I'm feeling out of sorts. Can you understand, help me understand what's going on? I'm feeling all out of sorts. Can you help me understand what's going on? Okay, now let's see what she says here. If she just tells me to cool off and relax in my room, that's suspicious. What do you mean by what's going on? You took a nap after work while I showered. We'll have dinner in a bit, then maybe watch some TV. Wait, wait, she's, no, no, okay, now we know she's lying, gang. Okay, she's actually an op. Listen, she's actually an op because uh, 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 we know she wasn't in the shower. We went in there before. We went in there, there was nobody in there. So she just said that that that, 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 that she was taking a shower when we left, which she couldn't have been because I went in the bathroom. We I, I did it by accident, but we went in there. Do you feel sick? Feverish? No, just my brain is a little foggy you should rest a bit more you're probably coming down with something what the fuck is shaking the screen bro i need to stretch my legs and clear my head a bit something's off something's happening nothing is happening just try to relax i've warned you about work stress okay yeah look she, she's she's pushing that too hard what's up are you sure you're okay bro not really I'm honestly surprised to even see you here. Who are you? Are you my girlfriend or something? Not really. I'm honestly surprised to even see you here. Who are you? My girlfriend or something? Okay, now depending on what she says here, let's see. What the hell? Honey, we've been together for years. Did you eat spicy food for lunch? You know how that screws up your dreams. 
for acting like she knows me. I can't remember what I had for lunch. I'm surprised to see me here. I live here. Are you not so subtly telling me that I should move out? Maybe. No, no, I I'm just a bit confused. What's up? Are you sure you're okay? Okay, she got calm real quick and fast, Bo. Sorry, for a moment I didn't recognize you. I'm feeling disoriented. I must be hungry. Do you have any thoughts about dinner? Eh, I have no idea. I was hoping you'd have something in mind. We can order in. How about Indian? Uh, nah, it's okay. I'll whip something up. Nah, it's okay. I'll whip something up. Good luck. The last time I checked the fridge, it was pretty empty. Oh, right. Are you sure everything is all right? I think I should go. I think I should go. All right, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. Wait a minute now. I, 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 I need to look around here. It just, is there anything in this apartment that would belong to her? I'm okay with the pair I have on. Let me look closer at these shoes. Are there a bunch of sho pairs of shoes? I'm like, okay with if the she, pair I have. If, if she lived here, there should be a bunch of shoes for her too, Nothing right? Nothing interesting in here. Just an ungodly amount of old tote bags. But like... There is. I mean, there's I'm running low on supplies. I should go to the grocery store, order delivery, or visit a kiosk. Uh huh. I'm not in the mood to cook anything. Maybe there are some leftovers in the fridge. There's not. I don't need anything from here. I do. I said I was hungry. It's full of paperwork, mostly bills, boring contracts, and medical files. Not worth my time. Interesting. What is this? What, what I just. Observation system. Enter your password. Location Bakersfield. <laughs> okay. So I don't know my password for my laptop. So we need to keep an eye on that. I'm gonna. I love my couch, but I napped enough for today. Ain't that the truth? Go ask the old lady about her. Oh, you're right. The old lady might actually have some good intel on that. What's it's no use without a battery to charge. I don't have the focus right now. Okay, understood. I'm not in the right headspace to read anything. What does that note say? I have no use for it. it I have no use for the note? It's a bizarre thing to say. I don't want to jump. Oh my god, wait, I, I did not even realize that was what I was contemplating. What the fuck is making that noise? But uh, the fact that I'm not like responding to like the, the clearly uh, alien overlords blasting is crazy so we already know that my girlfriend okay sorry wrong camera my girlfriend is lying okay because she I was want to wash my hands right because now. she was not here i literally left and she said she was showering apparently the whole time i was i was napping which is factually inaccurate so she said sam there's nothing amiss in here at all that inhuman <laughs> voice on the phone misled me but why no way i just screamed that out <laughs> Only clothes, no bodies or skeletons in here. How many people's worth of clothes? How many people's worth of clothes? Only clothes. How many people's worth of clothes? It's too cold to open the window. Hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? Bro, she's weird. Something's going on. Something's up. I think I should go. See you later. Okay, so wait, wait. So, so I, I, I had a real breakdown about the robot leading me back here. But I think it was just to waste my time, bro. Like, I'm pretty sure the robot just brought me back here. I like it where it is. To waste my time. I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna talk to Grandma, bro. I'm gonna talk to Grandma, bro. Ow! My I got... Precisely three minutes to eight, something fell on your head. You didn't even have time to look up to see what it was before it ended your life. Terminated by a goddamn, by a goddamn pine cone. Oh my god. Select the inventory item you'd like to keep. Movie poster, flat keys. You will keep this item in your inventory each time you wake up from the next run onwards. This movie poster is going to be important, I feel like. Wait. It's 7.33 p.m. On an early December evening, and you okay. look around the living room. So all this is the same, right? Feels off. I think everything's the, the same. Rings out. Someone's calling from the street entrance. 
You aren't expecting any visitors, but you should probably see who it is. Okay, so now we need to figure out how the fuck to avoid getting killed by, first of all, a fucking acorn. Let me move. Let me move with some conviction here. I do. I need to get my wallet. Let me see. Let me see what this guy says, bro. Uh, who's there? Hello? Let me say hello. Death creeps ever closer. You must act with conviction and vigor and do something to stop it. Gang. Huh? What are you talking about? Hurry before it's too late. Only you can stop it. I knew After it. After you hang up the intercom, you get an unsettling feeling. I knew the it. The voice sounded eerily familiar. You try to push the thought away and tell yourself it was a cruel prank. Also, your stomach aches with hunger. It's almost dinner time and you'd better look for something to eat. Okay, so we gotta figure this shit out, gang. But that warning, they said the end is near and only we can stop it. Could this somehow be related to the bizarre feeling you woke up with? For peace of mind, you're motivated to find out more. But Okay, so he's telling me to go down to the city streets, but I need to get my wallet. I like it where it is. Where's my wallet at? I'm having a tough time finding my wallet. Now, let me come in here and let's verify really quickly that that bitch is definitely a op. 100%. There's nobody in here, bro. And there is a singular toothbrush, so, so she is a op. I don't think a bath will do me any good right now. Yeah, 100% she is, because, 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 because she, she literally said that she was in here and taking a shower right now while I was napping. And shrouded in a haze of confusion, the uncanny feet. I, where is my wallet, gang? I don't think my wallet's here. Wait, but who's that a picture of? Who's that a picture of? Is that my mom? Who's that? Where's my wallet? I just woke up. I don't need to... I don't think my wallet's in here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you think if we get down before 745 that we will be able to discover something new because the explosion won't have happened yet and people will be able to conversate about different shit. In that case, I'm really fucking up because I don't have my keys, bro. I'm body. Wait, I'm body. I'm body. I got to restart. I got to restart. I got to restart. Oh my God, I can. I don't think I can my make it now. Are in here. Because I didn't take my keys when I was in here the first time. I'm a fucking idiot. So if I keep my keys and instantly leave. Yeah, because right now we're going to get. In. Let me, let me, let me, let me knock on my neighbor's door. I'm not interested in a home invasion. Oh. Can I read Better this? Better to leave it where it is. Kitty. Huh. Okay, wait. Let me, do, do I have a, do I have a, somebody who lives on this other side? Not a good idea to disturb my neighbor. I want to ask him some questions, okay? I need to do a little bit of questioning, Bo. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get down one minute before the explosion. No, we're not. We're gonna get down right when the explosion hits. Fuck. Okay, so we're bamboozled. Here comes the explosion. Right there. You hear a thump? Okay, so we did exactly what we did the first time. Let's be more observant of everything it's around locked. this gang. Nothing in mind. I won't touch the others. Oh, I couldn't investigate that before. It's better if I don't change the station. The robo receptionist seems to enjoy it. Okay. I'm not gonna talk to Alan. The plastic leaves feel cold and lifeless. Yeah, but I wonder if... The end is nigh. Was there anything that we couldn't do because of the time? Where's my fucking wallet, bro? I'll call for some delivery. Oh, I'm 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 ordering I'm ordering some groceries. Okay, now this will change it up. Food delivery express. How can I help you? <laughs> Bakersfield Food Delivery Express. Okay, so homegirl, let's. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's get um. What 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 did my what did my girlfriend want? Does she want pizza? No, she wanted Indian. Let me get, let me get Indian. Indian tonight. How about Rogan Josh, garlic naan, and plain rice? Thanks. Sure thing. The estimated delivery time is 8.15 p.m. Shall I confirm your order? Sounds good. 8.15. Please provide your address. Adams Street 42, flat 27-2. Thank you. Your food will be arriving shortly. Have a lovely evening. You too. Okay. So, let me talk to this guy before he hey, hears me on the phone. Hello. What's up, pretty boy? Damn. I'm feeling dazed and confused. 
I'm feeling dazed <gasps> and confused. Like that Zeppelin track? Oh, I hate classic rock. Give me some Mozart or Borodin. And sprang, thumb, swoosh. That's the sort of power that shakes my guts. Like a thunderstorm Bro. of boundless, animalistic energy. This guy's way less useful. <sighs> dazed and confused. Who is it? Oh, I see. You're trying to pull some compassion out of a dirty old man. No, it's not that. It's just... I'm just trying to understand what's going on. Well, you've come to the wrong guy for answers, pretty boy. At least for now. What the hell? Do you need any help? It must be cold out here. Do you need any help? You must be cold out here. Nah. My ass has been on this wet concrete so long that I don't feel much of it. Not physically, at least. <laughs> well, mentally, I'm nearly as numb. Once you've experienced the life I've had, almost nothing gets to you. You, on the other hand, you look troubled. Or are your desperate eyes telling lies? I don't know. Something is off. The drink has you seeing things that aren't there, old man. <laughs> I've never felt better. <laughs> Bro, should I get abrupt with the old timer, Bo? Yo, know, let's try it. Fuck it. The drink has you seeing things that aren't there, old man. I've never felt better. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, kid. Damn! Okay, that didn't buy me nothing. Living out on the streets, you must gain a rare perspective on the city. Living out on the streets, you must gain a rare perspective on the city. <laughs> you aren't wrong, kid. You uncover truths about people when they act like you're not even there. Hell, you've done just that to me for years. Why so chatty now? Uh, oh, see, we got something new. Can we change the subject today? I feel different. I don't know. Maybe until now, the thought never even entered my head. Does that make me a horrible person? Huh, you've seen me around for years. What do you know about me? Huh? You've seen me around for years? What do you know about me? Let's see if he tells me about my girlfriend. I've seen you step out of your condo and saunter by countless times. Typically, you barely glance in my direction. Not that I'm aggrieved. I know your type. Always a place to go. Deals to make. Important people to see. Oh, so this guy might have seen me with my girlfriend. It's not that. It's just... I guess before, I never felt the need to initiate conversation. I apologize. I see you genuinely possess a keen sense of humanity. Don't worry about it, kid. And I'm nothing special. You come to understand a thing or two about the nature of man when you take time to observe, fantasize, and bend one's elbow. I don't know. Maybe until now, the thought never even entered my head. God, does that make me a horrible person? Nah, you're average. Most folks like you don't talk to people like me. Simple as that. Today I feel different. Did your pretty girlfriend give you a nice suck job? Oh! Uh, okay, now see! That is not the, 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 the question I was gonna ask that I thought was gonna get me there. So that is my girlfriend. What? No, just... Tonight, life feels and looks different, as if I'm experiencing it for the first time. God damn. I wish I could experience this city for the first time again. It was really something when I first rolled in here. But now, it's a doddering whore with two pig legs. <laughs> Used up, disease-ridden, and rotting from the inside out. Can we change, Can the, we change the subject? change the subject? Did you hear the explosion? Did you hear the explosion? Okay, so we didn't get to ask him this before. Explosion? What are you talking about? I didn't hear anything. Okay, so the old man's useless on the explosion front. Actually, I think I better go. I'll be here. You damn right you will be, you fucking hobo. Okay, so I wait a minute. I don't need anything from there. Let's see, what pub it's entrance? Locked. So all this shit's locked and closed. It's too high. It's too high. Am I supposed to be able to do something with these signs at some point? Like if I could get a... Like if I could get a fucking, um, like ladder or something? So those are the condoms. Here's Henry. I don't have any money, though. I still don't have my wallet. Gang, what, what should we... So I, I ordered Indian food. And I talked to the hobo before I got the phone call. 
So now what? Okay, here's the old timer. What do we think, gang? So let me call myself real quick. Now, if I don't call myself at all, hello. Break the loop. Death creeps ever closer. This is end this insane cycle. Break the loop. Let me try this. Huh? What are you talking about? Hurry before it's too late. Only you can stop it. The end is nigh. Can I call myself again? Hello? I've already wait, I, I can call myself numerous times? End this insane cycle. Huh? What are you talking about? Hurry before it's too late. Only you can stop it. Wait, okay, so let me let me see let me see if I call myself twice next time. What else is new? Do I just go away from my Indian maybe? Because if 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 I tell my girlfriend that, then maybe we get like a different outcome. Oh, here's Robocock, bro. I don't need to conversate. Let me let me try and talk to him instead of passing. What do you want? Oh, I can talk to him. Can you, um, did you hear the explosion a moment ago? Wait, I'm gonna say, who are you? What are you doing? Who are you and what are you doing? I am a model PD-99 guard bot created by Satoshi Corporation and leased to the government. So why are you blocking me? I am deployed to stop suspicious individuals that want to pass by to the other side of the street. Huh? Does this mean I'm a suspect? According to my facial recognition and data analyzer, yes. Suspected of what? I'm not permitted to provide that information. Leave the area. Oh my god, what the fuck? Did you hear that explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Most likely insurrectionist scum committing terrorist acts at Freedom Square a few blocks away. Oh, interesting. Can I go look? No. Move away. This guy's dead ass. Can you let me walk over there? No. <laughs> oh, now look. Could you be persuaded? Is there anything you'd want in exchange to let me pass? Could you be persuaded? Is there anything you would want in exchange for letting me pass? Are you trying to bribe me? I could have you arrested for that. I'm just asking. No, I, I was just thinking aloud. Move away. Okay, so there definitely is something that I could ask him. Did you hear that explode? Most likely insurrect. Oh, interesting. I mean no, move. Okay. Can you let me walk over there? No. Please? Please. No, get lost. This guy's dead ass. Can you let me walk over there? No. <laughs> why? I'm not programmed to tell you why. Move away. Okay, so I got to bribe Robocop. Go. Good. Let me look at the clock. Oh, I can touch it, but it doesn't have any effect. What? Why can't I do that? I can touch it, but... That's bizarre, it's isn't it? It's locked. Wait, 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 wait. That's bizarre, isn't it? That's the only thing I can touch. Let me take it back up, but I think the only difference that we can investigate now... It's gonna be with the Indian food and my girlfriend. So, but Hobo McGee make it sound like my my girlfriend actually is my girlfriend, right? Okay, so here we As go. You step back inside after so she's in the shower, moment. she's gonna pop out. Okay. So, Hello, sweetheart. Uh, I'm gonna say, sorry for the moment I didn't recognize you, disoriented, I must be hungry. What sorry, you for a moment I didn't recognize okay. you. I'm feeling disoriented. I must be hungry. Do you have any thoughts about dinner? <laughs> hey, little girl, what, what, what did Vibe do to you, Bo? What did Vibe do to you, Bo? Okay, so she asking about dinner. Eh, I have no idea. I was hoping you'd have something in mind. We can order in. How about Indian? Already ordered it. Yeah, Indian food sounds great. Yeah, Indian sounds good. Can you wait another hour or so to order? I'm not hungry yet, as I had a late lunch. Fine. Are you sure everything is all right? I already ordered. Um, I'm gonna say I think I should go. All right, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. Okay, so she is still going to the bedroom. What? Nobody is ringing at. The what? I don't want to jump. Okay, why is that the only option? What else can I do out here, bro? Where is my fucking huh, I wallet? I guess I left my wallet here. I'd better take it. What? 
I found it. You some bitch, I found it. I found my wallet. I don't need anything from here. I got it. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Let's get out of the apartment. Because at three minutes to eight, we get killed. No matter what's happening, no matter what goes down. I mean, we got killed it by something. work. We got killed by something here before. He did. Okay, so let, let, let's try and go downstairs. And we're going to get killed on the public street. I mean, we're, we're, I, I bet where you die at makes a difference too. Right? Because like, if you die in front of somebody, then it, it has to make a difference. It has to. Okay, so I got my wallet now, though. So should we take it to the chicken spot? Or should I buy... No, 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 no. So I could buy some robo parts from this lady to fix the bike. And maybe I could use the bike to get past the robot. But let's start by buying some chicken from the chicken spot. Even though I already ordered my food. What else is this guy selling? This guy might be an op too on guard. Let me talk to him. Good evening. What can I get you? Uh, let me get a beer. Can I have a beer? Uh, sure. It's eight ninety nine credit. One, please. Here you are, good man. Thanks. If... Can I have some fried chicken? Of course. The special menu is 24. Yes, please. Here's your chicken. Enjoy. Thanks. You know the fuck what? Nothing. I should go. Have let a good me, evening. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give the beer to the homeless man. Remember, he was drinking. Maybe if I give him a beer, I don't know, he'll be swearing on me. Tell me some new information. Here we go. Look. Crispy, crunchy, fried chicken. I just ate my chicken. Wait, Charles. Can I give him this? Use the, oh, you can use it on people, look. That's not quite it. Oh, he doesn't want it. Maybe chicken. I ate it, fuck! Yummy, the best chicken in town. Wait, so I can use the bottle of beer on people? Nah, I should try something else. What, oh, I got a phone. Not now. Oh, I got a bunch of items, gang. Look. So I've got... Wait a minute. What's going on? Wait, so I've got flat keys, a smartphone, old movie poster, a lighter, and then some cigarettes. Let's try the cigarettes on Charles. I can't do that. Oh. I don't want to smoke right now. Okay. Uh, let me get my wallet, bro. That's not quite it. What? Okay, this is interesting. Do you have any idea how to get rid of the big robot uh, blocking people at the end of the street? Do you have any idea how to get rid of that big robot blocking people on the street? Oh, this is good. B99? Oh, I hate him. Sting! Very mean robot programmed to be square-minded. Whoa! Indeed. But how can I get rid of him? I need this. Oh, well, uh, uh, mess up with his brain. Yes, surely. Dang! Mess him up! And they'll take him away to fix him. Could take half an hour. Yes! If I do something to his brain, they'll take him away to fix it for half an hour? Are you dead to death or what? <laughs> I just wanted to be clear. How can I mess him up? Jamming! 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 Jamming in the name of the Lord! <laughs> Those robots are connected to the network! Woohoo! Place a signal jammer high above, spread the waves to reach his mainframe, and puff, sting, bang, boom! I don't have a signal jammer. Oh, that's a pity. They're not for s s sale. Tricky. Boo! Okay! Regarding the signal jammer to sabotage PD-99. What? Uh, can you repeat what you said? Can you help me get one of those jammers? Can you help me get one of those jammers? I'd love to get you out of this jammer. <laughs> get it? The crowd. Sadly, I don't have a jammer for sale. And I know they don't sell them anywhere. However, it's easy to create a basic one that'll do the job. Believe me, I knows it. Son of a bitch, tell me Is more. Is that the reason why you are a bit, uh, screwy? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, uh, anyway. If it's easy, what do I need? An antenna, of course, to spread the signal. And a noise pulsar. Yes, yes. Antenna noise pulsar. Do you have any of those? No, sorry. No antenna. What about the noise pulsar? Ah, 
noise, Pulsar. Yes. Found one in a dump dumpster a couple of nights ago. Oh. Wait, you have one? Why didn't you mention that earlier? Can I have it? Um, what's in it for me? Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> I'll get rid of that big robot grump over there, remember? Dang! Ah, Woohoo! I don't like PD-99. Oh. oh, okay. Take the Pulsar. Remember the antenna? Yeah! <laughs> Uh, thanks. And yes, will do. Bye. Oh my god! Oh, we went off! Let me play the lotto real quick. Do I have unlimited money to play the lotto? Um, shocker. I didn't win anything. Okay, so it's a scam, bro. Even a scam in 2043, bro. Even a scam in 2043! Okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me see what... Let me see what homegirl's selling, because if she's selling the antenna... Let me see. Hello. What can I do? Uh, what are you? Do you? Uh, let me see. What are you selling? What are you selling? Mostly electronic components. Meant Good to know. Do you mind if I ask what happened to your? What if oh, I cut okay. my arm? That's pretty hard. <laughs> Don't. Give so I got. I gotta ask her specifically. Oh. My arm was torn up so badly. Do you sell signal jammers by any chance? Nope. They are classified as potential chaos creators by the state, making oh. them illegal for our citizens. Understood. But what about an antenna? Huh. Okay, well, how about an antenna? Please tell me those aren't outlawed. They aren't, but unfortunately for you, I just sold my last one an hour ago. I'll be getting a restock tomorrow afternoon. You can reserve one if you'd like. I'm gonna be dead! Nah, uh, I need one tonight. Sorry, I can't help. Perhaps there is something else you need? Bro, that's insane that the lady who sells the electronics Nothing. can't help me. I should go. Bye. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. I gotta come down right away, maybe. I gotta come down right away. Right away, like, immediately. No time passed. Because she said an hour ago, maybe she was wrong. Maybe she was wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe she just means, like, just a second ago she sold it. Okay, let's see. If, um... Wait, what am I walking over here to do? How odd. The phone's been wiped clean. No photos, messages, or roaming data. I can't even connect to Wi-Fi. Funny enough, the only number saved is for a food delivery company. What? Wait, that is bizarre. Wait, how am, how am I like- This thing can make robots go haywire. However, I need something to help spread the signal. I don't know how I'm like examining these things. A leather wallet filled with cash and credit cards. Curiously, there are no pictures or ID cards inside. Oh, I don't However, really. There is an old fortune cookie note. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today. Yeah, right. A refillable metal lighter. An inscription on the bottom reads, "Come on, baby, light my fire." Okay, and then and then my ciggies. A pack of Crownland cigarettes. On one side is the company logo, and on the other is an image of a jawless cancer victim. Understood. I should, I should quit smoking is what he said. <gasps> okay, right. So let's, wait, what, what, wait a minute. Oh, I'm pushing down the left bumper and it highlights everything you can interact with. Oh, that's actually good to know. Make sure we didn't miss nothing. I can interact with this. I can shake it's it. It's an antenna. Bit, it doesn't do anything. Son of a bitch, it's an antenna to the top. Look, it's an antenna to the top. How am I going to get that? I don't want to throw anything out. How am I going to get that? Okay, let, let's go in and then come back out because we're going to die here momentarily, gang. Let me call out my food delivery. Let me see where it's at, bro. I don't need to call anyone. Oh, I can't even, I can't even do it, bro. Okay, so let me go in and back out, bro, and just and just see how I die, because I am gonna die. But we, we've we've made some really good progress, actually, to be honest. Okay, I'm, oh no, I'm dead now. Who is that? We got terminated. It was three minutes to eight, and a man wearing a trench coat and fedora appeared out of nowhere and shot you in cold blood. I was getting too fucking close to the truth. I was getting too close to the truth. Wait, so Robocock did not give a fuck. Okay, so you can only keep certain items, it looks like. In order to get the wallet, you have to go down and back up. You don't even notice it the first time. I'm gonna take my wallet. I think that I think that's the most important one. Who's there? Who's there? End this insane cycle. 
That was my second message. Okay, right. So let me come in here, get my keys, and then we'll hit the streets, Bo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, outside before the explosion. Big, big packs, big packs. Only clothes, no bodies or skeletons. It won't let me get my keys. Only clothes, no. Wait, do I have to click on the door to get my keys? Hmm. Where? Okay, so you have to trigger the shit before it'll let you get the shit. Okay, so my keys should be in here now. Only clothes, no body. Where the fuck are my keys? I just woke up. I don't need. Wait, to it's not. It's not gonna let me get my keys until 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 it's so explosion that's time. So my face. I barely recognize myself. Who am I? Have I always looked this way? The deeper I stare, the more unsettling it gets. Oh, some things are different. I don't need to use it right now. I don't think a bath will do me. Is this slightly different? I like it where it is. Wait, it's not its not going to let me leave yet. Hmm. Where? Because I don't have my keys. My keys are in a different spot. No food. Um, not much in here. Oh, I got a sandwich. What the fuck? My flat keys are on the table. I better take them. Oh, it is slightly different. Wait a minute. I got a sandwich. Let me eat it, boy. I keep talking about being hungry. Ah, my stomach needed that. Well, now that I'm f full, do I get a different voice on with my girlfriend? Do you think I do? <gasps> okay, so I heard the explosion. You hear a thunderous explosion. It sends a shockwave into your very core. Now, see, this is interesting, because what if, what, if, what if I never leave my apartment? Then my girlfriend never comes home, right? Or maybe I'll be here when she gets home. Does she get home at a certain time? And how do you die in your apartment if you never leave? Only clothes, no bot. Wait a minute, okay. Let's just, let's just see what happens I if, like it where it is. if we never leave. So let's, let's, let's never leave and we'll see. Will I walk out here and she'll just appear? No, nobody in the shower. So she just straight up never came home. I like it where it... Like she just straight up never came home. I got bombed. Oh, so At precisely three minutes to eight, something fell on your head. You thought for a moment, is that a spotlight? But the answer will never come as your cranium was crushed instantly. Okay, so you just get killed by the light then. You just get killed by the light then. Wait, but now I'm not gonna be able to call myself either. But now I'm not. But now I'm not gonna. Now my now my shit's not gonna ring because I never left. Oh, I couldn't take my wallet for some reason. That's fine. The key's fine. To be honest, the key's fine. It's seven thirty-three. And you wake up again. That damn intercom is still ringing. How could it? Wait a minute. So that was different. It, it didn't say anything about Bakersfield. It just said you wake up again. Okay, so I need to... I'm, I'm going to stop skipping the voice lines because they are different now. Who's on the intercom? Uh, what do you want? What do you want? End this insane cycle. Huh? What are you talking about? Hurry before it's too late. Okay, so that was me again, even though I never talked to myself. I'm going to leave right now. Let me see if she had anything else. Was there someone ringing your buzzer? Have you, what are your thoughts about reincarnation? Not for the afterlife, but reliving a short period over and over again. Let me ask her this, this is new. What are your thoughts on reincarnation? Not for a lifetime, but reliving a short period over and over again. At my age, every day is like that, more or less. It's not surprising anymore. That was it, that's all I got. Actually, I think I should go. Okay, bye. Let me know if you see my... Okay, so Grandma was fucking useless. All right, let's hit the streets, gang. Let's go, let's go, let's go straight down. We're okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hit the streets at 37. I guess 38. 
A full 10 minutes. Shrouded in a haze of confusion, you try to grasp how time is currently functioning. It seems the oh. uncanny feeling with which you woke up persists and your discomfort grows. You wonder if you're still dreaming. Is anything around you even real? It's an endless deja vu, a loop of places it's and new. events which repeat themselves once more and again, not unlike life itself, really. Every day, the same walls, the same faces. Is there a way out of this loop? Is there anything outside it? You're not even sure anymore, and the doubt is eating away at your sanity. Wait a minute. Okay, that's new. It's locked. Nothing in mind. I won't. It's better if I don't. Good evening, sir. Do you have the key for the cabinet over there? Let me see. Yes, I do. Can I borrow it? I can't give it out so easily. The cabinet is for communal use, and you must have a good reason to access it. Do you? Yeah. My mind is shaking, and something in the cabinet can help me realize what's happening. Tenants should be able to access the cabinet anytime they want. Actually, no. That's not how things work here. Let me do this. Tenants should be able to access the cabinet anytime they want. Not while I'm on guard, sir. That's totally illogical. It'll result in tools being misplaced, consumables stolen, and chaos. Ugh, malak. I think you are overreacting. I am not. So, do you have a reason for me to give you the cabinet key? Yeah! My mind is shaking something can't my- eh, That's not gonna be that, bro. Actually, no. That's not how things work here. Actually, no. That's not how things work here. Come back when you have a good reason to open the cabinet. Wait! Wait, wait, that, that was that?! Do I you have the key- I thought I was gonna beat his ass! Yes, I do. Can I borrow it? I can't give it up. Let me try My this. Mind is He's not gonna like this. And something in the cabinet can help me realize what's happening. He's not gonna go for it. Yeah, I doubt what's in the cabinet can help you. You should call a doctor. Can I assist you with anything else? Okay, so so he does have the fucking key. Actually, no. Come back when you have a good. Do you feel like a hamster on a wheel spinning in the same place for eternity? Do you ever feel like a hamster on a wheel spinning in the same place for eternity? Are you making fun of my robotic life? No, I... Excuse me, sir. I do not have time for this. Okay. Nothing. I have to... So I need a good reason for that bitch to give me... But he, he'll give me some tools to be able to do some shit. Let me talk to Al. Remember, no explosion yet. The end is no... At 7.57 p.m. to be precise, so I'd like to ask you some questions while there's still time. Oh! Okay! What do you want? You're disturbing my calling. This is good! This is good, I'm going off! Shouting that the world is this ending one. while walking in the same circle day in and day out? Do you constantly feel like you're experiencing life on repeat? Oh yes. Every day is the same for me, every hour. Actually, every 12 seconds or something. <laughs> round and around, so many people to warn, so little time. But here you are, <laughs> talking with me, breaking the loop. Breaking the loop, breaking the loop, it's a hint! I'll let you get back to your shouting. See you later. Oi. I, I wish you would have given me more. I wish you would have given me more. He's not really helping me too much. I... I don't know. Something is off. So, how can I help you from the gutter? Oh! Well, he said, how can I help you from the gutter? But none of these options help me. Do you ever have the feeling you're living in a loop, repeating the same actions over and over, day in, day out? You bet your ass I do. I come to this spot every day as soon as I vacate from my main locale across the street. At 8, 10 a.m., I like to peep at the foxy business ladies in their power suits, the ones with the tight skirts. Goddamn, seeing them climb aboard the bus is better than any movie. Every evening at 7.03 p.m., the damn robo-sweeper sprays down the sidewalk. It's always a pain in the ass since, by that point, I'm three sheets to the wind. 
<laughs> Lumbering over here ain't easy. Every day, the same faces, actions, and goddamn robo sweeper. Life is a loop. At least there's booze and skirts. Okay, but I, I need you to give me a, a little bit later time profile, my man. Oh, I mean more than that. I'm talking about exactly the same thing. Like living in constant deja vu. I was in a state like that once, after a three-month absinthe bender. <laughs> How did I overcome it? I switched over to gin, and it's been rosy ever since. Ah, uh, whatever. Do you ever feel like you're trapped repeating the same the moments of your life no. over and over? Each day, you wake up and it's the same loop? I take it you're feeling like that now. Uh, yes. No. I was in a state like that after my accident. I was bedridden, hopped up on painkillers, and constantly reliving the event in my head. No. The only way I snapped out of it was by breaking the routine. I forced myself out of bed and told myself there was more to life than living in the past. Breaking the routine. Thanks for the advice. I'll try something to break my routine. What does that mean? What the fuck? Wait a minute. Where's the chicken spot? Hi there. What would you like? What the fuck? Wait, what are you selling? What are you selling? Ramen. Best in town. Handmade with a recipe passed down from generation to generation. I was taught by my mother, and she learned from my grandmother, and her from my great grand. I think I get the picture. It sounds promising. Oh, so they really got the whoever the food is has to be making it type energy. It's impossible to find better ramen, at least on this side of the globe. Uh, do you ever, let me, do you ever feel like you're living in a loop, repeating the same thing over and over? Um, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Wait a minute, this guy got something on his, or this lady got something Can on her I arm. Get some ramen? What is that? Y'all see that on the arm? The two green dots and the two red dots? Absolutely. Our special. Sounds good. I'll take it. Hey, uh, here's your ramen. Thanks. Wait, do I still have my wallet? Can I get a beer? Sure, it's eight ninety nine. Okay. Here is your beer. Thanks. Wait, wait. I still have my Nothing. wallet. I guess. I gotta go. Oh, I can run. Wait, what the fuck? I can run. That's honestly insane. Oh wait, what the hell? I woke up feeling dazed and confused. I need to figure out what's going on. I need to find a way to convince Alan to give me the cabinet key. Oh, we've got like quests. It looks and smells delicious. Wait! I'm just pushing random buttons on my controller and it's. Just, I was trying to make sure I wasn't missing nothing. That's my inventory. It's too high to reach. It's too high to reach. Okay, so I am recognizing that the antenna is it's there now. Too high to reach. Can I, why can't I shake the gutter, bro? I can shake it a bit, but it doesn't do. The end is right. Okay, so here goes Robocock McGee. Woo! Hey, hi! Um, hi. What do you need from my vi Do you ever feel Let me like ask you're him. living in a loop, repeating the same thing over and over? Me, no. You, yes? You are asking me because it's what's ha happening to you? you? Isaac kind of low-key smart as fuck. Sadly, yes. Ah, woo, Sting! And I thought I was the crazy one. <laughs> can't you be reasonable for a minute? So, so, so sorry. I can't help myself. Any, anyway, maybe you are bugged. An error in the code, which creates a loop. A loop. A redundancy loop. Ah, whatever. I'll see if I can fix my brain. Right. I think I should go. Bye, bye. So I, I I still have my wallet. Yeah, let's conversate here. Is the club open now? I don't have time to. Good evening. Good evening to you. Is everything hunky dory? Have you ever sensed that existence is akin to a never ending cycle where the same moments recur ad infinitum? Um, not really, baby. My life is pretty exciting. Each day is a new adventure. I take it yours isn't. 
I'm not even sure what my job is. It's all so trippy. Trippy can be good. Trippy can be electric. What's disrupting your buzz? Oh, just that I'm stuck living and dying in 24-minute intervals. Always the same period again and again. Right! Oh, poor you. Like the common mayfly. Just try to make the best out of it. Time doesn't exist anyway. Easy for you to say. Hmm. I gotta go. See you. But she doesn't want anything. I can't re- I need a fucking ladder or something. Do you think this bitch down here is is, is gone? Stop. You are- But I see people walk- I don't care. What do you want? Let me ask him, Bo. Do you ever feel like you're living in a loop, repeating the same thing over and over, like in one of those mind-blowing movies? The only thing mind-blowing is your ignorance. <laughs> now move away. This guy's a fucking hater, bro. I guess I'll go. Good. Damn, okay, my man is not fucking playing no games, bro. So what, sh so we're about to, the explosion hasn't happened yet. We can't ask anybody about it. The ending. I definitely want to be coming outside. I'll when call for some delivery. Wait, if I call for delivery early, can I get it early? Food delivery express. How can I help you? Let me try and order something different, because if I order something different, I might be able to get it sooner. Let's try pizza. I'm in the mood for margarita pizza. Sure thing. The estimated delivery time is 8.15 Same. p.m. Shall I confirm your order? I'll be dead by that point. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Can't you deliver earlier? I'm afraid not. Well, I suppose I need to cancel my order. As you wish. Have a lovely evening. Bye. I, I don't need to call any. I will be dead by then, so I didn't even waste my time with it. What? So, 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 so the the the, the world starts to explode at 7:45, right? So if I go up the elevator, that's two minutes. One in the elevator, one at the top, one to enter my apartment. I would never make it back down because I have to come back out and then through. I, I want to be on. Locked. I want to be on the street when the. Nothing in mind. When the explosion happens. A fair number of robots crave to be. Not me. It okay. sounds like being a robot means losing your freedom and being forced to repeat the same actions again and again. No offense. Not taken. I have not been programmed to be offended. I don't perceive myself as a prisoner. Perhaps you could tell me what being a prisoner feels like. Oh. Every so often, a person wishes to broaden their horizons, explore an exotic country, or change jobs to escape the routine. Living in prison won't allow any of that. Humans need routine as much as they require change. Freedom can come from routine. I foresee this philosophical conversation lasting for hours. If someone might step in, I must be available to do my duties. Is there anything else I can assist you with? I definitely want to be out here. Maybe I should try and win the lottery. Um, shocker. Can I win? How much money do I have? It's not, um, it's not showing me how much money I have. Um, okay, so I'm never going to win that. Wait, the, that lottery machine over there is driving me insane. No matter how many times I try and I always lose. Okay, so this guy kind of goes off. He's going to give me something else too. That lottery machine over there is driving me insane. No matter how many times I try, I always lose. I call her the money eater. She reminds me of an XXXX girlfriend, which, um, I can't remember. Woo! So there's <laughs> no way for me to win? Sure, just get a rigged token and woohoo! You can win all the times you want. It's not le legal though, so be careful that PD99 won't see you, you, you. I've no idea how to get or create a rigged token. Do you have one? This guy's useful as fuck, bro. I love his ass. I do spam. Woo! But why should I give it to you? Oh. My life depends on that rig token. I'll share 20% of my winnings. Do you really need it? Are you using it so often? Let me try. He doesn't care about money, bro. I'm going to do this. Do you really need he it? He seems reasonable. Are you using it so often? He seems reasonable. Uh, 
Um, not really. It's boring to win all the time. I've collected so much cash that I'm hiding in the... Hey, are you trying to trick me? I won't give you my tre tre treasure! No, no, I don't care about your treasure. I just want the rigged token. Whoosh, sting! As long as you don't want my precious. So can I have the token? Um, oh, yes! Right, whatever, bang! Thanks a lot. Okay, gang! I think I should go. All right. Bye. Let me go win some money real quick, and then I'll come back and get the and get the and get the rest of the shit. Wait, where's my lotto machine at? I forgot where the lotto machine's at. Okay, so anytime I need help, I'm going to Robocock McGee. Right here, bro. Let me rig token this bitch. Am I winning? Oh man, I've won a hundred credits. That's fucking huge. Let me do it again. Wait, certainly you can't just do it forever. Oh man, I've won a hundred credits. Wait, this is definitely a good bargaining chip. Oh man, I've... If I do this a certain amount of times, will somebody pull up and fuck with me? Oh man, I've... That's not him. That's another Robocock, that bitch might be a... Ah! Oh man, I've. I mean, I'm literally getting rich in this bitch! Oh man, I've. Okay, so who could use infinite money? What should I do? I'm gonna try and be outside when the shit comes down, bro. That's okay, that's 41. 42. Oh my god, I fucked it. I'm gonna be inside then. Wait, I fucked it. Oh my god, bitch! Wait, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do that shit at like the right, at like the right interval to get it to work, huh? Wait, there's no, there's no way for me to trigger it and be out here. The end is oh my god, I fucked it, bro. All right, let me go up, bro. Here it is. You hear a thunderous explosion. It felt close yet far. Good evening. Good evening to you. Is Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? Oh my gosh, baby, I heard it. It rattled my bones. Its origin and nature elude me, yet it evokes memories of the ultimate demise, the great calamity from which I fled. Calamity? What are you talking about? Let me re-listen to this. It's a distant recollection, perhaps eroded by the sands of time or obfuscated by some other force. Yet its presence persists akin to the scent of charred remnants that linger even after the flames are quenched. What the fuck does that mean? I feel it too. Keep asking around. Perhaps we aren't the only ones that remember. Right, so she remembers. Right, so now that phone call's coming in. I don't have to answer it though. But if I don't answer it, then Charles doesn't talk to me proper. It's too high. Hello? Ignore what you heard. Who is this? A friend. And they're telling you that there was no great... But I so have memories. No. Let it go. If it's the truth you seek... What is he talking about? Your bedroom. Is it how you remember? Is something amiss there? My bedroom? Yes. Now go and find the truth. What? But... Last time I went up there, I literally screamed there's nothing oh, different. baby face. You seem tense. I gotta come clean. So this guy was eavesdropping. To to swallow, huh? It's easier to choke down. The feeling will be scratching at the back of your eyelids everywhere you look. You'll see signs of the end times in the ordinary and mundane. Just look around. Everything will be clear. Um, sure. Whatever you say. Hey, help. What's up, pretty? Does this give me any new options? 
Did you hear the explosion? He had to have. Explosion? What are you talking about? He's acting like he didn't hear I it. I didn't hear anything. So that actually, actually didn't do anything I for think me. I better... I'll be here. That didn't do anything for me. Did she hear it? Hi there. What? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? Yes! What a fright! I think the Yakuza blew up the teriyaki shop down the road! There's been a fight between Yakuza families trying to control the teriyaki market. She did hear it. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm Nothing. gonna... I gotta go. Take now, care. Now it's doing the robo shit in the sky, bro. Now it's doing the robo shit in the sky. After that guy called me, I think... No. I think shit starts to get serious. I need the... F Wait a minute. If the world's shaking... It doesn't drop the antenna, though. It's too high to reap. How do I drop the fucking antenna? Let me go back upstairs. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit flabbergasted. I need, like... I need, like, a ladder or something. I never asked her about the explosion, did I? Did you hear that explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? I've never was? asked her this. Explosion? No, I haven't heard anything of the sort. My hearing isn't what it used to be. Plus, all evening, I've been calling for sweet puss puss. <laughs> Let me know if you see her, okay? Of course. Where is this fucking grandma's cat at, bro? Actually, I... Okay, but... Let me... As you step back inside I wonder flat, if I get a new you hear a line from my girlfriend. coming from the bathroom. Someone is taking a shower. After a few moments in which you stay puzzled, the sound of the shower... Who the fuck is that? Hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? Wait. Oh, sorry, what the hecky? Wait. Wait, did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? I heard it too. And I've been trying to look online, but have yet to find an answer. She's who shit? What is this? Strange things are happening this evening. Oh, don't worry too much, okay? You look so lost. What troubles you? I feel like I'm try stuck this. in a loop, repeating the same thing again and again every 24 minutes. What do you mean? At 7.57 p.m., everything restarts again. Like in one of those mind-blowing movies. You're delirious from work exhaustion. You should rest, and I'm sure you'll feel better. I'm feeling all out this. of sorts. Can you help me understand what's going on? What do you mean by what's going on? You took a nap after work while I showered. We'll have dinner in a bit, then maybe watch some TV. Do you feel sick? Feverish? No, just my brain. Wait, she wants to watch TV. You should rest a bit more. You're probably coming down with something. I need to stretch my legs and clear my head a bit. Something's off. Something's happening. Nothing is happening. Just try to relax. I've warned you about work stress. What's up? Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Let me do Sorry, this. Sorry, for a moment I didn't recognize you. I want. Eh, I have no idea. I was hoping you'd have something in mind. We can order in. She did say How Indian. How about Indian? I'm gonna say let's. I want a burger. How about a burger? For you, maybe. What about me? You know I'm vegetarian. Fuck. Oh, right. Are you sure everything is all right? Okay, so we need to do pizza. I think I should go. All right, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. What the f Okay, let me go in here and see if I recognize that she's different. Last Damn, time I- there's nothing amiss in here at all. That inhuman voice on the phone misled me. But why? So I could waste time. Literally to waste time. Only clothes, no- It's too cold to open. It was, it's just to waste time, right? Like there's- I just woke up. I don't need to- there's, there's no other reason they would do it. How do I open that drawer? Wait, look, it zooms in on the drawer and the... Oh, the picture's different. No, the picture is different. Look, it's the, it used to be a picture of a girl up oh, 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 on my wall right there. But now it's not. Um, mainly empty besides this can of soda. Better take it with me. Do I have any items that I might want to use? 
Um, there aren't any signs of the apocalypse here. Huh? So we've got the rig coin, the token, wallet, smartphone. Um, there aren't any signs of the apocalypse here. What, what am I talking about? Why am I saying that? Um, there aren't any. Why am I saying that? I'm fucking dead. Yeah, there. Are... I got electrocuted. I got fucking electrocuted. At 7:57 p.m., you were fried. As you ventured through your condo, a power surge caused a shock to jump from an outlet and onto you. The stray electric bolt killed you instantly. Bro, this game is dead up. Huh? Oh, you keep it for your next run onwards. So I'll keep it forever. Let me keep the pulsar. So I keep okay. So I only have to save it once. Three p.m. Let's listen to this. You wake up again. That nope. damn intercom is still ringing. I'm not gonna call myself this time. You know what? Let it ring. I I just gave myself a tip. <laughs> Bro, I just gave myself a tip. They said, God damn it. This kid's dog shit at the game, bro. I'm not in the right headspace. Give him a fucking tip, bro. That's what they just did. That's what they just did. They literally told me not to touch it. I'm leaving. I don't want to leave. What? Up until now, it's felt like I had no free will. As if someone was controlling me and pulling my strings. I've had enough. I'm in control now. Wait, he's talking to me. What's he doing? I'm smoking. A few minutes pass, and now I'm dead. What? The fuck? Okay, now I'm playing again. I said I don't want to go out. Holy sh... Oh, uh... We want to go to the bathroom? What What do we want to do here, my mans? I'm not really in the mood right now. I don't want to do a damn thing. Whatever will be, will be. I Oh my god, he's fucking cooking my time. He's fucking cooking my time. I'm dead. Wait, I'm 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 fucking myself. I literally it won't let me leave. I'm okay with the pair I have. Oh my god, gang. Wait a minute. <gasps> okay, there was the explosion. You hear a thunderous explosion. It sends a shockwave into your very core. You wonder what happened. It f I don't care about the explosion. The whole world can blow up. I'm smoking again. Okay. I see what this is, bro. I'm done. I'm cooked. This guy's literally burning all my time. Um, mainly empty. Gang. Wait a minute. Has changed the neon lights. Wait a minute. Rather stand up here and smoke these damn cigarettes than go out and deal with this city full of delusions. I don't want to jump. Oh, you can't. I honestly thought that's what they wanted me to do, bro. Can I still not leave? I said I don't want to go out. This guy's dead. Ah, uh. nobody is ringing at the moment. Good night to the gods. In the kitchen this time. How is this guy in my joint? I've seen this ending before. What the it fuck? was three minutes to eight, and a man wearing a trench coat and fedora appeared out of nowhere and shot you in cold blood. Gang, so if I wake up again, am I gonna get sassed by myself? Am I gonna get sassed by myself? It's 7.33 p.m. Ooh. That damn intercom is... Oh, it'll let me leave this time. It's this guy again. 
Good evening. What can I get? Let me ask this guy. Do you ever feel like you're living in a loop, repeating the same moments over and over? I have to admit, my days aren't special. And sometimes, the routine gets to me. Often I daydream about retirement, life on a sandy beach, a book in my hand, and not a chicken in sight. But if you're talking about an identical time loop, then no. I've only read about those in sci-fi stories. Why? Wait a minute. I feel stuck in one, and it's driving me to madness. Well, what's this guy read about, but what's the deeds? That's troubling, friend. What's the situation? You go to sleep and wake up in the morning and repeat the same day? Oh, something similar, yes. But I wake up after a nap at 7.33 p.m., and the loop ends at 7.57 p.m. when I inevitably die. Man, you always die at three minutes to eight and live just the same 24 minutes again and again? Unfortunately, yes, that's what's happening. And I'm desperately looking for help. Oh, my God. Good Lord. That's hellish. Unfortunately, unless eating my fried chicken helps, I, I don't know what I can do. No worries. I was just venting. However... Please. Yes? I need something. You said you died all the time at 7.57 p.m. sharp, right? Yes, precisely. Then, what about skipping a minute? What does he mean? Skipping a minute? Okay. Say if you had a time machine. Oh, come on. That's science fiction. As I said, I'm a fan of the genre. Okay? Get this. Currently, our technology isn't advanced enough to travel back to the 17th century or a hundred years in the future. But we are only talking about going forward a minute. That might be doable. I remember reading a short story about a cosmonaut going on repeated missions and coming slightly out of sync with Earth on each trip. Eventually, he was aging slower than everyone he had left behind. That's sort of a form of time travel. I think you might be onto something with that one-minute jump idea. Thanks. No problem. Good luck. Wait a minute, gang. Think about it. The only place where you could do a one-minute jump in this game is in the elevator. Because you get into the elevator, it ticks a minute, and then you get out of the elevator, it ticks a minute. So technically, it's a two-minute jump. Right or no? Right or no? So in theory, unless they crash the elevator, which they very well could do, that would but 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 it would jump the minute in like non-gameplay time. Let me see, let me see if we can do a time loop in the elevator. Is this gonna be right though? So if I go in, I go out 40, back in 41. Wait, wait, wait. So I mean, I'm okay. So I go out 40, in 41, out 42, in 43, out 44, in 45, out 46, back in 47, out 48, in 49, out 50, in 51, out 52, in 53, out 54, in 55, out 56. So that wouldn't be right. Because I need to be in at 56. Okay, so I need to hit the elevator then. As you step back Wait. inside your flat, you hear running water coming from the bathroom. After a few moments... Wait, the, the thing's still ringing, bro. She's back. Hello, sweetheart. I think I should go. All right, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. I'm not really here to conversate right now. Bro, it's still ringing. I never called myself last time. Oh, she is back before the explosion. I was looking at myself there for a second. She'll hear it with me. She saw it, look. You hear a thunderous explosion. She saw it too. It sends a shockwave into your very core. You wonder what happened. It felt close, yet f Did you hear that explosion? I heard it too. And I've been trying to- Strange things are happening. Oh, don't worry too much. Oh. Wait, let me see if she wants Sorry, pizza. Let me try this. I didn't recognize you. I'm feeling- Eh, I have no idea. I was- I'm gonna say, what about pizza? I'd prefer pizza. We just had pizza yesterday. Don't tell me you forgot. Oh, 
Right. Are you sure everything is all right? There's no winning. There's no winning, bro. You have to get Indian. I think I should go. See you later. Wait. The stale air of your dingy apartment gives way to the thick, smoky atmosphere of a dimly lit jazz club. Unsure if you are dreaming, as you should be in the familiar corridor of the 27th floor. What the fuck? Are you losing your mind? Ah. Uh... The ambiance feels oddly comforting, as if you've visited this place many times before. A soothing melody emanates from across the room, creating a calming effect for your restless mind. The bartender looks in your direction with a welcoming smile. Bro, what is going on? I've just been trying to set up my time, my time jump. But now this shit is insane. Bro, this game is crazy, bro. Wait, so I'm in a bar. I can't talk to anybody but the bartender. Good evening. Hello, mister. What can I offer you tonight? What is this place? What is this place? This place? It's a typical jazz club, mister. Is everything going steady? Not really. I just left my flat, and now I'm here rather than in the condo corridor. What the hell is going on? Am I dreaming? What is going on, bro? Dreams are a good excuse to explain what we don't understand. However, Club Quizás is not a dream. Club Quizás is a place where time stands still. Sorry, 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 fuck it, what? The critical question to ask is, do androids dream? Why is that critical? I have a feeling they do. I don't think so. It would mess up their programming. I have no idea. I have no idea. Reflect deeply into your cosmic consciousness. There, you'll find the answer. Why don't you just tell me? Who are you? Who are you? What do you mean? I'm David, the barman and owner of this fine establishment. You've known me for quite some time, mister. Why do you call me mister? David, this evening things are off. I feel like I'm in a waking nightmare. What the? Nightmares can be a warning from our subconscious. What is your subconscious trying to tell you? Probably that I'm about to get tossed? That I'm an idiot? That I'm working too much? I truly have no idea. I'm gonna say that I'm an idiot. I think that's what it's telling me. That I'm an idiot? Even the most brilliant person makes mistakes or underestimates the effects of their actions. As valid as that may be, it's still unclear what my subconscious is telling me. I'm gonna say I have a feeling they do. I have a feeling they do. So do I. You like that what answer. What are you trying to tell me? I'm sorry. I can't bypass my coding and go further into this conversation. Wait, so Android's dream? You're coding? Are you an Android? No way, tell me now. No way, tell me now what this is about. I've heard enough about this anyway. You're coding? Are you an Android? I really cannot go any further, even if I want to. No way, now tell me, what's this all about? I'm sorry, mister. It's beyond my will. Can't you tell me without really telling me? Come on, cheat that firewall. Wait a minute. Um, how would you know if you were programmed to believe you were not programmed? How would you know if you were programmed to believe you were not programmed? He's calling me a robot. How would you know if you were programmed to believe, how would you know if you were programmed to believe you were not programmed? I'm a fucking robot. Cutting open my arm and checking if there are any wires or other non-organic parts? Yes, that's a way of doing it. Have you attempted it? No, but I, I simply can't believe I'm not what I thought I was. It takes time, of course. I'm Wait. sure this doubt was inside of you already for a long time. So what now? What can I do with this information? That's entirely up to you, mister. I cannot help you any further. Club Kisas needs me. What? All right, take care. Enjoy your evening. So I'm a fucking robot.
Okay, I'm I'm back talking to him again, bro. What is this place? I'm, I'm, just, this place I'm trying all the options. Really. I need I need the info. I just left dreams are a good excuse. The critical question to ask. I'm gonna say I don't think so. It would mess up their programming. I don't think so. It would mess up their programming. I wouldn't be so sure. A human brain needs to dream, so an artificial one can benefit from it too. If well coded and defined, an AI's dream can help maintain and develop the brain it's generated from. What does all of this have to do with anything? Reflect deeply into your cosmic consciousness. There you'll find the answer. Okay, so let me say, what's give, give me, me the strongest drink you got? The strongest? Are you sure you don't want the usual? The usual? What are you talking about? You've been coming here for years, always ordering the same drink, which is definitely not the strongest thing I have. I... I don't know what to say. Perhaps it's best if I skip the drink for tonight. As you wish, mister. The night is long when time doesn't move. Fire runs with you. Club Kisask will always be a safe place to be. Oh my god, it's the guy who fucking shoots me! His name's Dick! Wait, Dick dumbass, he gonna, he gonna terminate me right now? Hey, Slick. Bitch called me Slick. Ah, oh, hi. What are you after? How the hell do you know this place? You look like the guy from the movie poster, a detective from the noir film. Oh! I would like, wait, wait, he's from the movie? I have many things to ask. I don't know where to start. How well do you know this place? How well do you know this place? Let me, let me not get accusatory just yet. Plumkey sauce? Uh-huh. I come here from time to time. I've seen your face before. You must be a regular. I guess. I like the atmosphere here. Good drinks, smooth music, and an excellent mise en scène. What the fuck does that mean? Where are we exactly? What do you mean? Didn't you come here of your own volition? Yes, but this evening, I'm having a hard time getting things straight. Can you tell me where we are, like, location-wise? Club Kizos isn't a location in the classical sense. You can't ask where for this place, but rather, when. It's outside of space, but inside of time. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what? It's outside of space, but inside of time. I can only come here at a specific time? No, not exactly. Rather, after a certain number of times. In life, we move between places from one to another. On the odd occasion, the other is Club Kizas. What? I'm confused. Understanding time can be complicated, I know. I'm sure you'll figure it out sooner or later. Maybe you already have. After all, you are a regular of Club Kizas. Huh? Wait, you look like the guy from the movie poster. The detective in the noir film. You look just like the guy from this old movie poster. A detective from an old noir film. It's probably because of what I'm wearing. I know my trench coat and fedora can lead to that comparison. Sure, it looks cliched, but I'm a sucker for the style. I can see the resemblance, but that's not me. Strange. I feel there's a connection between you and this poster. This world is full of invisible connections, but the human mind often looks for signs where they don't exist. This is one of those times. I don't think so, Are bro. Are you at least a detective, or am I totally off base here? I'm pretty sure you know the answer already. This bitch a hitman. I do know the answer, Mr. Detective. What do you mean? No, I really don't. I do know the answer, Mr. Detective. Well, well, your memory isn't entirely shot. Do you know anything else about us? Us? We've shared many drinks together at this very club. Let me do this. We've shared many drinks together at this very club. Hmm, not quite. Fuck! Can't you help me remember? I can't before you realize some facts on your own. Otherwise, it's too risky. I want to say, what do you mean by us? What do you mean by us? Have we known each other for a long time? I know you, but it's all a bit of a blur. Look at me. Take a deep breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, I see... Man, he wants to kill friend, me? But there is more. A friend? We're colleagues. Colleagues? Partners. A detective duo. 
And this, all of this is just a damn firewall. Why does he kill me? A firewall? Pieces of memories are starting to take shape, but I'm still rather confused. We're investigating a ruthless criminal, a neuro-cyber outlaw who contorts reality and plays with our thoughts, trapping us here. It took me ages to realize. Oh my god, we're playing with a- we're investigating a ruthless criminal, a neuro-cyber outlaw who contorts reality and plays with our thoughts, trapping us here. It took me ages to realize. He's sending us through multiple realities to protect himself. That's why sometimes I shoot at you. I'm actually saving you from his mind games, but that's not enough. What? I found a way out, but I'm not leaving without you. You need to come with me. This is all too much to take in, but what you're saying makes a strange sort of sense. Tell me what I need to do. Write this down, because you might forget it. I need you to take the elevator at precisely 7.56 p.m. And you must wear a brainwave helmet to protect yourself against the influential deception of the hacker scum. Motherfucker, I knew it! That's literally what we were trying to do! That's literally what we were trying to do when we ended up in Club Kisaz, bro! I am writing that down. You know this shit's not a game, bro. You know that shit's not a game, bro. Okay, okay, okay! I, that's literally exactly what we were doing! But we don't have the influential brainwave detector shit. So the old man at the chicken spot goes off! Okay, I mean, he didn't say it. I mean, listen, we were kind of a team. Being the old black man, boy, you know, you, you know we on the same wavelength, bro. A brainwave helmet? What the fuck is that? Yes, and I'm sure someone in this reality can help you find one. From my intel, I found out they're usually produced in Asia. Get one, and take the elevator at 7.56 p.m. I'll be waiting. Roger that. I'll do my best. See you soon, partner. Produced in Asia. No way they talking about the lady working the spot. No way they talking about the lady working the spot. See you soon, partner. Hey, Slick. Ah, oh, hi. What are you after? Wait, I would like to know what's going on here. Let me see what he can tell me here. I would like to know what's going on here. Here? Nothing special. A bunch of fine folks enjoying some lovely music, drinks, and being served by a first-rate bartender. But all that you can see. So my question is, what's happening? This place, it's unreal. Like it's from another dimension. Dreams, nightmares, parallel dimensions, ghosts, robots, twisted realities, multiverses, insanity. What is the truth? <laughs> Who knows? What if there's more than a single answer? What if there are dozens or more? And all are true simultaneously. I feel lost in a labyrinth with multiple exits where each path intersects and yet differs. Something like that, yes. But the more you explore the labyrinth, the more its nature will become clear. Just don't give up. Right. Right. I have so many things to ask that I don't know where to start. Can I ask you a few questions instead? Yeah. What is this interrogation? I'm innocent, detective. No, not really. My brain is scrambled. I barely know who I am. No, not really. My brain is scrambled. I barely know who I am. Uh, too bad. I wish you would have fucking asked me some shit. Why, why are those my only so two many options? Things. Can I ask you a few questions? And Wait, is this an interrogation? I I'm innocent, detective. No, it's not an interrogation. You can trust me. I just need help with something. Hey, what's Sorry, up? I cannot help you right now. I'm busy trying to figure out things myself. Bro, help the man. Uh, too bad. Fuck. I'd better go. Catch you later. Holy shit, this game is deep, gang. Oh my god. It's better that I don't disturb her. Okay, so have we talked to everybody up here? We talked to Dick, we talked to the bartender. And now we're back in our apartment. Okay, so I need to find a way to convince Alan to give me the cabinet key. The robot, I have to get past him. It's so simple. The solution to my problem is to find a time machine and skip one minute ahead. Duh. I heard an explosion far from here, but I, I should investigate. David told me that I might be a robot. Look at all this shit, bro. I must locate a, a brainwave helmet. Oh my God. Wait. 
the fuck was that? Who was that? Did he say, hey, stop it or hey, stupid? Wait, am I going to have enough time to go out there? What's he doing? What is that? I'm, I'm just gonna get in the elevator. We'll see if I. He's going. It's going slow mo. Wait, it's going slow mo, gang. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. So I'm gonna get in it at fifty-six. I'm gonna be in the elevator. Now my friend told me to get in the elevator at 56. Let's do it. Now it's 57. No, I'm a fucking idiot! I die at, at 58. 7 PM, you oh my God, I'm a fucking idiot. Your mind was on other things, but you should have watched your step. You slipped on a small cat toy, fell back and banged your head. Dying on impact. Oh! Wait. You are rocked by a loud explosion. The lights flicker off, and the elevator stops. When the light returns, you notice an opening to a strange passage. Okay, so let me see. Grab this camera lens. It might be helpful. Camera lens? There's nothing left in here. There is nothing else worth... Okay. I gotta get this turned on. Hmm. I think it's unplugged. What the fuck? I'll take this old film reel. There might be a way to watch it. I've taken everything I need from there. Cause let me plug this there shit in. There is nothing else. Wait. So I plugged in the Perfect. light. Um. Okay, so why did I turn on the light? I need to figure out where to point it. Kitty? Wait, there's a light up here now. Torn page. What the fuck? Kitty? Wait. What is this? It's a torn page from a scripted dialogue that reads... Kitty. Surprised to see me here? I live here. Are you not so subtly telling me that I should Kitty. move out? Wait! It's a torn page from a scripted Kitty. dialogue that reads, Surprised to see me here? I live here. Are you not Kitty. are you subtly telling me I should move out? Wait, that's Kitty. what my girlfriend says. This sounds oddly familiar somehow. That's what my girlfriend says. Kitty? When I when I when I when I when I say that one thing to her. Ugh. It's too high. Wait, I jumped. Have I ever been able to mess with that? Ugh. Better to leave it where. Wait a minute. Can I confront her? There's something over here too. What's this? Torn page, another one. Not a good idea. Wait, there's a bunch of lights all of a sudden. Wait, sorry. It's a torn page of scripted dialogue that reads, Your pretty girlfriend gave you a nice suck job? Slurp, slurp, huh? Wait! Um, this sounds oddly familiar somehow. That's the, that's the whole, that's the homeless guy. Wait a minute. As you step back inside your flat, you hear running Wait. water coming from the bathroom. Someone is taking a shower. Yet you are sure after a few moments. This bitch! Hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? There's another one on the ground right there. Here we go. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her do it, Bo. Watch. Wait, no, it's, um... Not really. I'm honestly surprised to even see you here. Who are you? My girlfriend or something? What the hell? Honey, we've been together for years. <sighs> Did you eat spicy food for lunch? Here it comes. You know how that screws up your dreams. I can't remember what I had for lunch. 
Surprised to see me here. I live here. Are you not so subtly telling me that I should move out? Please tell hey, me. That sounds scripted. What the hell is going on? Got it! Okay, he actually responded to it. What are you talking about? No, no, this is too bizarre. I need to research this further. All right, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. Okay, I need to go talk to the homeless guy now. I need to go talk to the homeless guy and get him to say his part. But look, there's another script here. I've, I've got very limited time, though. The door to the bathroom. No, no, don't go in there, don't go in there. I need, I need to see what this it's one is. It's a torn page of scripted dialogue that reads, maybe a cocktail of LSD and some last generation neuro drugs. It's... Those will blast you off into outer space, babe. Okay, these are all the mother... Um, this sounds oddly these are these are, these, these, these are all the motherfuckers from the streets, bro. I, I have to go right back down, though. I don't have, I don't have enough time left. But sh I, I don't want to walk around and see if there's any more script pieces. I got to go down. I got to go down now. Slurp, slurp, suck, suck, hey, suck, McGee. What's up? Today I feel diff. Did your pretty girlfriend there. give you a nice there. suck job? <laughs> uh? Hey, that sounds scripted. What the hell is going on? Um, this is too weird. I need to look into this. Okay, so got his ass. Let me try one more. I don't know. Maybe on the off chance that you can get all three. It's her. Here goes Neuro Drugs Good McGee. Evening. Maybe a Boom. cocktail of LSD Here it is. and some last generation neuro drugs. Those will blast you off into outer space, babe. Perfect. Hey, that sounds scripted. What the hell is going on? Oops. Something's off. I need to look more into this. Okay, so I need one more shit in order for it to work, but it's not going to work right now because my time is fucked up. But what I'm going to do instead is we're gonna do the elevator, bro. Oh wait, there's one here too. Oh wait. It's a torn page of scripted dialogue that reads, what if I cut my arm off to replace it with a more efficient cybernetic one? This, okay. Uh, this sounds oddly familiar somehow. Holy shit, there's a lot of these. Okay, Iris, I see it, yeah. Let me smoke real quick. Okay, now it's 56. So I'm, I'm gonna be in the elevator at my death time. I don't have the helmet, but let's see what happens without it. They just, they just shock your ass in the elevator. At 7.57 PM, you were shocked. For reasons unknown to you, the elevator floor became electric, killing you instantly. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Son of a bitch. Okay, so we do need the helmet for sure. Is always oh, because Who's I'm everybody. You wonder? Wait. Looking around the desolate city? Wait a minute, what the fuck? Is it Toss? There's nobody. Here. Wait a minute. I don't want to throw anything out. Wait, wait, wait. This is, this is unexpected. Too high to reach. Wait, this is unexpected. I went outside. There's nobody here. I'll call for some delivery. Nobody's going to answer. That doesn't seem to work. Nobody answered. What? It's too high. She's not here. I already have a Packard. Good luck flying this. Wait a minute. So there's nobody here. That must mean the robot's gone too, right? Wait a minute. So the robot's got to be gone. Show sure enough, he is. Wait, the robot's gone. What the? You walk along the sidewalk and fuck? reality unravels. The very notion of a city falls away, replaced by a locale divorced from time and space. Here, you are stricken with a profound epiphany. What? I think I've done something terrible. A feeling over, of overwhelming emptiness, total darkness. I see a giant machine in the distance. I'm gonna try this. I see a giant machine in the distance. Could it be a robot? 
Is there really a monolithic robot in this place? It's better to journey forward and get a better look. What? Wait, let me read my notes, bro. I came upon a monolithic robot. Could it be connected to all of this? So that's what he's blocking. There is no city past him. There is no city past him. Oh my God, look at it. Bitch, 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 bitch look like he's straight out of fucking Minecraft, bitch. It's powered down. I have a disturbing feeling that switching it on is a terrible idea. Really? Should I do it anyway? Wait, okay, so what are we working with here? What's this? Strong magnet. I took it. Wait, did I miss any items back over here? What is this? There's something on the ground right here? Plunger. Like a toilet plunger? So it says turning on the robot would be a bad idea, but it doesn't give me the option to turn it on. So I got a plunger and a fucking... I can't do that. I can leave, true. But... Wait. Looks like they repaired the guard robot quite quickly. Honestly, I have no idea how long I spent in that bizarre place. It's back to normal. I came up on a robot while in some sort of dreamscape. I can't get the image of the metallic presence out of my thoughts. Let me let me try asking him about it. Came upon a robot while in some sort of dreamscape. I can't get the image of its metallic presence out of my thoughts. Somehow I feel it's the key to my situation. Do you know anything about a supreme robot? One so powerful that it can twist reality? Every robot knows of this. Now vacate the area. Oh. Wait, can you tell me more? Please. Bothersome human. If you must know, some robots say there was an AI so powerful, its brain was split into three pieces and hidden around the city. If you ask me, a robot's brain should remain in a metal skull. Now get lost! No, please, I need... Get lost! Wait, what do you want? he said all robots know, which means you know who knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's my boy, god damn it. Wait, let me just make sure. Okay, let, you already know who we're going to conversate with. Good. My bestie, bro. Let me go talk to my bestie real quick. Yeah, I'm I'm moving quick, fast, and in a hurry, gang. Let me touch that just in case. I can touch it, but it doesn't. Okay. Where's my man's at? Where? There he is. There he is. Oh, hey, hi. Evening. Good, good evening. What's good, um, bestie? Hi. What do you need from Isaac? Okay, let's see. I came upon an underworldly robot in a dreamscape. Uh, I'm not even sure it was real, yet I can't get the image. Okay. I came upon an otherworldly robot. I forgot it reads some it. Some sort of dreamscape. I'm not even sure it was real, yet I can't get the image of its metallic presence out of my thoughts. Somehow, I feel it's the key to my situation. Do you know anything about such a robot? One so powerful that it can twist reality. Okay, my, my boy knows it. Woo, yeah! Every robot knows about it! The big, big, big mind! The su su supreme powerful one! Dang! They split, split, split his brain into three pieces! Three! Th three! Dang! And scattered them all around! One piece might even be inside m my head! Who knows? <laughs> is it? Wait, no, seriously, is it? You mean your brain is one of the three pieces of the dangerous robot's brain? <laughs> <laughs> nice place to hide it, don't you think? <laughs> Except when you ask and you tell me. I'm not sure. I guess it's worth trying. Can I borrow it for a few minutes? <laughs> Are you ki 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 kidding? Okay, I might have something wrong. But that's very mean of you to think I can give up my brain. Sting. Just for a few minutes, I'll give it back to you very soon. It'll be like sleeping for a while. You won't even feel it. Maybe... Uh, still, uh, I can't, 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 even if I want to. Why not? What do you mean? My pro, my pro, my programming. Dang, I'm unable to give you my brain or part of it. So, so, sorry. Woo. Wait, the numbers are changing, gang. It's too high. It used to be 27 at one point. I came upon a robot while in some sort of dreamscape. I'm not even certain it was real. Even now, speaking to you, I can't get the image of its metallic presence out of my thoughts. Somehow I feel it's the key to my situation. 
Do you know anything about a machine so powerful that it can twist reality? I do not believe a robot can change reality. However, I do know of a supreme mechanical being. I always thought it was a myth spread among the artificial intelligence community. Nah, bro, it's real. What's the rumor? They say that this robot was powerful to the point of being dangerous. Its creators foresaw the harm it could bring, so they split its brain into three parts and hid each in a different place. You're right. A lowly handybot once told me that one of the pieces might be in this very building. Obviously, oh. I do not believe him, as no one knows this building as well as I do. It's in him then. It's in him then. Uh, interesting. Thanks. You're welcome, sir. Anything else? Do you know anything about the funny-looking robot glitching out on the sidewalk? No, sir. I rarely step out of the condo. I'm busy handling things here. Why do you ask? I need his brain. I'm afraid I cannot help you with that matter. It goes against my directive to harm man or machine. But this one is willing to give away his brain. He is a bit nuts and might be missing a gear or two. I just need a way to trick him. Sir, I sincerely cannot aid you. Really? His brain is barely functioning. Taking it would do him some good. I intend to take his brain out for maintenance. I'm trying to help him, but he's malfunctioning and doesn't see it that way. Will you change your mind if I do something for you? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do maintenance. I intend to take the brain in for maintenance. I'm trying to help him, but He's malfunctioning and doesn't see it that way. That sounds different from the first time you mentioned it. You said, I need his brain, <laughs> not I want to repair his brain. Hey, well, I, was, I misspoke. I misspoke earlier. No way. You know, humans aren't always saying what we mean. I meant to say that perhaps you can help me. Talk to him, robot to robot. It's for a good cause. Do you really think my opinion has changed? Damn. Yeah, I think so. I know deep down you want to help. No, probably not. <laughs> I'm doing yes, this. Yes, I think so. I know deep down you want to help. I see you're not giving up. So I'll issue you some advice. The best way to head crash a machine is by submitting to it a calculation to elaborate that it floods the computational threads. Meaning? Try asking him this. A crocodile snatches a young boy from a riverbank and promises to return him only if his mother correctly predicts what the crocodile will do next. If the mother guesses that the crocodile will return him and she is right, he will be returned. However, if she is wrong, the crocodile keeps him. But what happens if the mother tells the crocodile it will not return her son? But what happens if the mother tells the crocodile and not return her son? Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the question. Okay, I'll try to remember it. By the way, what's the answer? It's a paradox. A logic bomb. There is no answer. Uh-oh. I see. Well, thanks. Hopefully it works. Oh, God, I gotta remember that shit? Okay, so you want me to plunge this bitch now? That actually worked. Holy cool. shit, that, that worked. seems to have done it. Can I go in there? Okay, Alan is not looking in this direction. I'll quickly sneak inside the vent. I'm going in there? Wait a minute. This is my floor. Hey, I found a piece of the robot brain. Oh! Ugh. It's too high. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait a minute, gang. I don't have much time left to, 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 to be using. Okay, so wait, but where's the last robot brain piece? Okay, but, but, that, but that still only gets us two pieces, Iris, and we don't, we, we don't have very much time left. Maybe the last piece is the robot? All right, let's take it down, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna say, can you help me with a riddle? A crocodile snatches a young boy from a riverbank and promises to return him only if the mother... Okay. Can you help me solve this riddle? A crocodile snatches a young boy from a riverbank and promises to return him only if his mother correctly predicts what the crocodile will do next. 
If the mother guesses that the crocodile will return him and she is right, he will be returned. However, if she is wrong, the crocodile keeps him. But what happens if she answers that the crocodile will not return him? Um, um. Damn, I did not want to do him like this, but it's gotta be done. Uh, well. Did he go Zapsky? Oh. He's gone. It looks like it completely crashed. He is frozen, dead, or in a coma. Anyway, I guess he doesn't need a brain anymore. Give me that real quick. I can't believe I did him like that, Bo. Get it real quick. Thank you. Holy shit, it worked. Wait, what the fuck? Nearly there, but I think I need one more action to get it down. What the f- How do I get- What else? That doesn't seem to work. How would it not work? It just worked! Let me make sure there's nothing else new in here. Nothing. I have- Is there anything else I can plunge? I'm cooked, bro. I could ask him the crocodile question. I'm dead, bro. Good night to the gods! At 7.57 p.m., you were shocked. Okay. Let me, let me save my robot brain, bro. Got it. Where's cat bitch? Wait, she's gone. How long has she been gone? Did... What? Wait, what the fuck? She... She's in the lobby. He did. Have you seen my? I'll keep an eye open for it. Do you mind? What's on your mind? Oh, but it's all the same. The rest of it. Actually, I think. Okay. Oh. Kitty. It's locked. It's locked. Do I still do my co my crocodile? Good evening, sir. My crocodile cock question? No, I don't. Fuck. Nothing. I have to go. Now it's raining. He's back. I don't want to throw anything out. Nothing. Still can't get that. You see, it's back to 27 to the top. Look. It was 66 before. Okay, so let's see what's pop with the movie script. Okay, let's run it back. We need to get that fucking helmet from Ramen Lady. We still don't know how to do that. Either. Okay, so there it goes. We're back in the cave. You are rocked by a when the light returns. Okay. There is nothing else. I gotta get this turned up. I'll take this old film reel. There's nothing left in because I took the film reel. There's nothing left. I guess I'll turn on the light. Not that I can't even move it. Okay, so here we go. Let's start picking up script pages. Not a good idea. Not Fuck. a good idea. Give me this. As you step back inside your flat, you hear running water coming from the bathroom. After a few moments, 60 wait who is that hello sweetheart so we got another one not really what the hell i can't remember here it comes I... surprised to see me here i hey that sounds what are you talking about no no this is too bizarre all right i'm going to the bedroom okay so there she goes Let me get that. What's this one? Okay, what was this one again? It's a torn page of scripted dialogue that reads... Maybe a maybe cocktail a LSD. Uh, this sounds odd. Yeah, it does. Okay, and apparently there's one more over here. Okay, let me get this torn page here. I don't have the focus right now. It's a torn page of scripted dialogue that reads, Oh, sweet child, you're flattering me. I'm not that young anymore. I'm 92. 92? Who the fuck is that? Um, this sounds oddly familiar. Who said that? Is that the old lady? Is that the silver-haired fox? 
Oh wait, there's one here. Okay. It's a torn page of scripted dialogue. What if I cut my arm off? Okay, that's the, that's the shop lady. Oh come on, you're not that old. Oh here it is. Oof, I'm much older than you think. I don't know about that. Guess how old I am. Uh, eighty-one. Eighty-one. Oh sweet child, you're flattering me. I'm not <laughs> that young anymore. I'm ninety-two. Hey, that sounds scripted. What the there hell is, is going on? Um. I think I will look further into this thing. She just says, um. <laughs> Let me ask about this. I was in the elevator earlier, and it suddenly stopped. A secret passage opened to a hidden room that looked like some sort of movie production storage. Did the elevator start? Oh, I should notify maintenance. This is worrisome, as they came just a few days ago. I've yet to hear any other tenants complaining about it not functioning. And what about the secret passage, the movie set storage room? What is it? I'm sorry, sir. I cannot register when you are asking me. Are you saying you have no idea there's some sort of hidden room in this building? I'm sorry, sir. I cannot register when you are asking me. Interesting. Uh, looks like your programming is filtering out some of the words I'm saying. Never mind. Can I help you with anything else? Right, okay. Nothing. I have to go. So let's take it outside. And let's start uh, working through the rest of these motherfuckers. Hello. What can I? Um. I think what it's this selling? one, isn't it? Mostly electronic. Good to know. Do you? Mind? What if I cut my arm off? Hey, that sounds scripted. There it was. What the hell is going on? Um. I need to look further into this. So they all just say, um. Okay, let's talk to Charles. Hey. Okay. Today I feel different. Did your pretty girl? There it is. Give you a nice suck job. Hey, that sounds scripted. What the hell is going on? Um, this is too weird. I need to look into this. Okay, so let's go get the last one. So I got 27 to the top. Have you indulged in there we some go. funky? Okay, here we go. Maybe a cocktail of this is LSD it. and some last generation neuro drugs. Those will blast you off into outer space, babe. Okay. Hey, that sounds scripted. What the hell is going on? Oops. All around me are these actors reciting their damn lines. What the hell is going on here? Is this some twisted reality show? And what about me? Am I for real? Get me the hell out of here! Shoo! Oh! Wow. <laughs> I was fighting God to hold that in through the cutscene, bro. Keep it moving. Oh! Hurry, get the blindfold on him and I'll grab his feet. Who's this? Hey, what are you two doing? Keep it down and stop struggling. Lay him down here. He won't be causing us any more trouble. What? No! They got- After a short struggle, you free your hands and remove the blindfold. You find yourself alone. Wait, were they- I'm in the fu- they lock me in the fucking room, bro. Oh, wait, you actually... Okay. I've stuffed the lock full of film and wrapped it around the handle. Uh... Okay. How does film make a bomb? I'm certain I don't follow that, bro. Should I just light it? What happens when you superheat film? I'm sure I don't know. I could point it towards the door. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, now I need the camera lens, maybe. To, 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 to make the light focused? This should make the light beam much stronger. Cool. Oh! That seems to have done it. Wait, that was a real life dead ass explosion! It's already pointing at the door. Is this not open? It does. So who are those ops that. Cut, cut, cut! It's the old fucker. Really outstanding performance. When you broke the fourth wall, that was a thing of beauty. And this escape, I'm sure it'll be the climax of the season. What? Wait, so this is a TV show? Yes, and I'm the director. 
And that's a wrap for the first half of the season. We'll get how come I oh my have God. no clue about any of this. We'll get back in the for in, in a couple of months. That's what he said. I didn't mean to skip it. Oh, it's part of the contract that you signed. For hyperrealism, all the actors are drugged, so you don't know about the performance. It's acting without acting. What? A new frontier of entertainment that blends fiction with reality. Don't worry, the effects of the drug will vanish and you'll get back to your regular life. Huh. That's it. This is it for now. Goodbye and again, tremendous work. Bye. What? As the haze lifts, your eyes struggle to adjust. You find yourself in a cozy room and realize you're surrounded by your equally bewildered castmates. You shake off the cobwebs from your chemical-induced stupor and start to remember what's going on. In the theatrics of improvisation reality television has evolved into a grotesque spectacle. Participants are drugged and whisked away to a set where concealed lenses monitor their every move and scripted cues punctuate their performance. Everything is meticulously tuned for authentic behavior. The public masses and critics eat it up. And after the performance you just gave, you'll be a superstar. What? Bro, that's insane. You completed one of the multiple endings. Ending titles, wake up again. Oh my god! Holy shit. This game's insane, y'all. This game is fucking insane. I was locked in. Like, I haven't been locked in in a long fucking time. Bro, what an incredible game. Absolute accidental stumble. Absolute accidental stumble. Okay, absolutely did not expect this game to be what it is. It's like a mixture of Stanley Parable, that like other block detective game that we played. I don't even remember what it was called. Okay, it was that other detective game. And then um, just like a really, really interesting, insane gameplay, like cycle. Absolutely incredible, yo. Absolutely incredible. I think that we're gonna come back and play some more. I'm not gonna lie. This is like one of the first games we played in a long time. <laughs> That really has me like enthralled. Okay, the exact opposite of conkers. Okay, let me just tell you that right fucking now. So if y'all enjoyed the episode, well, let me know down below because we'll probably have an episode two coming soon. Okay, and if you're wondering, yes, conkers is coming soon. We'll have another episode of that coming too. Okay, hope y'all enjoyed three minutes to eight. If y'all have any suggestions, tips, or ideas for what we should check out in the next episode, you can let me know down below in the comments or better yet, come and be like Iris and help me on the live stream, okay? Love and appreciate y'all. We gotta go. Come on!